हेलो एवरीवन वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम टू दी बाइजूज एग्जाम प्रैप दिस इज संजय राठी हाउ आर यू गाइस एंड व्हाट अबाउट योर प्रिपरेशन फॉर गेट 2024 प्लीज जॉइन द सेशन नाउ आई थिंक एवरीथिंग इज फाइन नाउ साउंड क्वालिटी पिक्चर क्वालिटी एवरीथिंग इज फाइन एवरीबॉडी ओके लेट मी नो दैट साउंड क्वालिटी पिक्चर क्वालिटी एवरीथिंग इज फाइन ओके आई थिंक नाउ एवरीथिंग इज फाइन uh again everyone very good morning and this is a revision marathon analog circuit in one shot already rakesh sir have taken one classes that is what digital electronics okay bahut hi long marathon thi na up to 6 hours now i am going to take what analog in one shot we are going to revise all the topics from analog i think all are ready guys and quickly you will get the idea about all the topics if you have any doubts then you can ask okay now this is a revision marathon and if you have not sus subscribe our channel then please subscribe and like the session now uh, uh notes uh, milega that is what uh, password protected notes milega that is on my telegram channel okay that will be on my telegram channel that is electronics by sanjay rathi okay then this is my introduction for new students myself sanjay rathi 23 years of teaching experience i have trained more than 1 lakh students for this competitive exams and I have qualified and selected for engineering services exam that is conducted by UPSC Union Public Service Commission and this is my these are my ranks AIR 16 in ESC 2005 AIR 21 in ESC 2008 guys uh are don't worry rajesh then this is my telegram channel electronics by sanjay rati quickly you can join this now because i will upload pdf on my telegram channel okay and this is a gate 2024 revision marathon complete every subject in one shot guys already we have started from 8th of january one session on what uh, digital now it is analog we are going to cover almost all the subjects guys and now i am going to start what with analog as you know uh what are the important topics whether it is electrical branch electronics branch or what instrumentation branch this is a common subject now uh, these are the important topics from diode circuit first uh, diode circuits rectifier filters and precision rectifier okay tell me how many students have you have uh, do you have prepared these topics rectifiers all types of rectifier half wave full wave or what bridge rectifier filters c filter normally we are getting question from what capacitor filter so we will cover that topic or sometimes we are getting question from inductor filter or choke filter then we have l section filter or what pi filter then precision rectifier this is a very very important topic precision rectifier especially half wave rectifier by using operational amplifier guys okay okay then second one is what clipper and clamper this is also a very important topic from diode circuit voltage regulator especially use of what zener diode voltage regulator by using zener diode by using bjt by using operational amplifier so can all other students dreamer gate 2024 and viswajit jaswant ha uh, okay so please uh, share the link of this session so that more student will join and enjoy the session now then there is transistor biasing and stabilization so especially what uh, transistor means what we can uh, talk about what uh, fet as well as what bjt biasing and stabilization current mirror circuit normally we are getting question from fet now these days current mirror circuit by using bjt current mirror circuit by using fet so quickly i am going to discuss the syllabus then high and low frequency of bjt as well as mosfet that is called amplif amplifier multi stage amplifier we are running some questions from that differential amplifier and then low and high frequency analysis of fet very basic idea about what feedback amplifiers what are the advantages and disadvantages of feedback amplifier and different topologies those are called mechanism of feedback so we are going to cover here then oscillators again we are getting questions from wind bridge oscillator rc phase shift oscillator sometimes we are going uh, getting questions from colpit and hartley oscillator and crystal oscillator so low frequency oscillator high frequency oscillator okay everyone give me comments what is the wind bridge oscillator it is a audio frequency oscillator or radio frequency oscillator audio frequency or radio frequency yes 
yes you are going to increase five marks yes in analog so there is a quick revision uh that power amplifiers that is not mentioned in the syllabus but just what basic idea about that i'm going to cover here okay so audio frequency amplifier good everyone give me the comments then what wave form power amplifiers is uh, means that is not mentioned in the syllabus but sometimes we are getting question uh, for example msq is there multiple select question so what is the class a operation class b operation class ab operation and class c operation that is the basic thing about that and what is the direct coupled class a amplifier and what is the meaning of transformer coupled class a amplifier okay then then then, then next one is what uh, operational amplifier and waveform generator waveform generator means what uh, a bistable mono stable or stable multi vibrator and semi trigger circuits and so on right square wave generator triangular wave generator that is important and finally linear wave shaping circuit all are basically what high pass filter or low pass filter so high pass filter and low pass filter we will discuss so uh, pdf everyone remember pdf will be available on my telegram channel first thing that is electronics by sanjay rathi but it will be password protected so watch the session in between i will give you the password and you can enjoy the pdf after watching this session okay that will help you just like a short notes if you have prepared the short notes okay otherwise this will work like what short notes so you can revise your syllabus now first of all i am going to start with what guys uh, very i am not going to start with what uh, traditional topics like what diodes and so on because fet is a very very important one so i am going to start with fet all are ready quickly we will get the idea about the fet what is the biasing of the fet then small signal model of fet and how to solve questions okay then okay then one by one and then after that operational amplifier then what diode circuits and so on in this sequence we will arrange now first of all fet remember guys fet means two types mosfet f j fat but remember j fat is not in syllabus j fat is not in syllabus So no need to revise this J fat junction field effect transistor. Don't worry about that. Number of questions in previous year question paper we have questions from J fat. So no need to solve this. Then MOSFET. In MOSFET, especially what E MOSFET is very very important one that is called enhancement MOSFET N channel P channel as you know. And sometimes electronics student sometimes we are getting question from D MOSFET but it is in what EDC we will cover. so i have session on that edc electronic devices and circuit 5 hours i will cover but here we will cover the low and high frequency analysis low high mid frequency of e mosfet n channel and what p channel okay now uh, first of all what are the important about the j fat and so on first thing is what symbol so don't uh, uh but If suppose you are miss just the symbol, then you may, may make what mistakes. So this is the P MOSFET arrow current, and that is the what N MOSFET as you know. Current कहाँ से गया? Drain से and it will leave the source terminal. So drain terminal and source terminal. And this is the insulated gate field effect transistor. That's why we are having this type of symbol, and that is for body terminal. But normally in analog we are not getting the body terminal, and body terminal is normally sorted to what source? Sorted to source. This is the body terminal. This is the drain terminal. This is the source terminal. Outside the source terminal current, this is the N channel, and that is P channel. And here we are having the complementary metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. Again, remember, guys, this topic is important for EC student, and that's why I will cover this topic in EDC, electronic devices and circuit about what CMOS, and this is also important in digital. logic family or memory okay cmos so remember now means uh, in analog which one is important p mosfet and especially what n mosfet this is very very important to get the complete command over this n mosfet okay so it is fet important for uh, other exams yes fet is important for yeah gate exam this is very important one right so viswajit thoda bahut english hindi chalta rahega 
आप देखते हैं जरा नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन देर आर डिफरेंट रीजन गैस वन इज कॉल्ड ट्रायोड रीजन वन इज कॉल्ड वॉट सेचुरेशन रीजन एंड वन इज कॉल्ड वॉट कट ऑफ रीजन तो दिस इज अ क्विक रिविजन तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल रिमेंबर ऑक्साइड कैपेसिटेंस दैट इज द फॉर्मूला एप्सलॉन नॉट एक्स बाई टीओ एक्स दिस इज द एप्सलॉन आर एप्सलॉन नॉट अपॉन टीओ एक्स दिस इज कॉल्ड ऑक्साइड थिकनेस एप्सलॉन आर रिमेंबर दैट इज द एप्सलॉन आर इज थ्री पॉइंट नाइन फॉर एस आई ओ टू लेयर and that is the value 3.9 into 8.85 into 10 raised to power minus 12 farad per meter this is the value of epsilon not and that is the multiplication and normally we are using this capacitance this is the capacitance per unit area because capacitance is equal to epsilon a by d so when we are using this is called cox epsilon not x by tox so this is the formula very simple formula ओके यस इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग वी विल डिस्कस ना वेरी बेसिक फॉर्मूला अबाउट दैट या दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर इलेक्ट्रिकल आल्सो नाउ सेकंड वन दिस इज द फॉर्मूला इन व्हाट ट्रायोड रीजन म्यू एन सीओ एच डब्ल्यू बाई एल दिस इज कॉल्ड एस्पेक्ट रेशियो वीजीएस माइनस वीटी इंटू वीडीएस माइनस हाफ ऑफ वीडीएस स्क्वायर तो दैट एवरीथिंग इज गिवन हियर म्यू एन सीओ एक्स इज नॉर्मली कॉल्ड वॉट के एंड एस नाउ गाइज रिमेंबर Uh, sometimes we are taking this as the common mu n c u x w by l. So that is called k n. So k n will become mu n c u x w by l. W by l is called aspect ratio. Now, when V D S is very very small, so what what type of questions you will get uh, from this formula in triode reason? First, when V D S is very very small, then you can neglect this term, and then it will become k n s mu n c u x is replaced by k n s w by l. VGS minus VT into VDS. I am talking about the triode region when the VDS is very very small, and that is called what you can find the resistance VDS upon ID, VDS upon ID, and that is very important formula here. You will you can get direct question from this formula. So RDS is given by one upon K and S W by L VGS minus VT. VGS minus VT is also called overdrive voltage or effective voltage. Over drive voltage or effective voltage. Vt is what threshold voltage and it is positive for n MOSFET. Is there is any doubt in this? Okay, so just remember this. One minute. Okay, up to this point, any doubt? So these are the important formula. Now, remember these characteristics. This is called saturation region, and this one is called what? This is the IDS versus VDS, and this is called linear ohmic region. This one. This is the linear ohmic region. That is the bending of the curve, and that is called what saturation region. Or at this point, what is the value of VGS? VGS minus VT. If the VDS is greater than or equal to VGS minus VT, that is in saturation. If it is less than VGS minus VT, that is in triode region. Or when the VGS is less than VT, that is in cutoff region. That is in cutoff region means there is no current will flow. So that is the line for cutoff region. So IDS versus VDS. when the question asked to remember that is what uh, uh, it is in linear ohmic region means you have to use this formula you have to use this formula or this formula to find the rds that is called drain to source resistance when we are changing the value of vgs value of the resistance will change first question first important point everyone note this then second one and now One minute. 
okay so that is the formula guys this is the vds is very small that is in saturation region and that is the formula okay the next one if it is in saturation saturation means what vds should be greater than or equal to vgs minus vt then you can use this formula replace the vgs by vds by vgs minus vt and that is a very very important now guys electrical student sometimes they will put this as a constant k so id will become k times of what vgs minus vt that is the formula okay so k is the constant half of k and s w by l means what id is proportional to vgs minus vt the whole square sometimes what will happen they will give ids on in question vgs on in question this is the value of ids on something they will give the value vgs on now k is not given then from this formula you can put the vgs on you can they will provide you the value of the vt threshold voltage also given then you can put the vgs on ids on and vt and you can find the value of k and you can use this data for another condition so this type of question is electrical branch okay then saturation region so saturation region is a very very important one remember guys this is a very important and this is the important formula for this okay then uh when we are considering what early effect that is called what is the name of early effect in fet everyone tell me give me the comments what is the uh, name of early effect in case of fet so fet because of early effect there is a some elevation in that in saturation region again when we are changing the value of vds current will change so when we are considering the early effect you have to add one extra term that is 1 plus lambda times of vds where lambda is called early effect parameter this is the 1 by va 1 by va early voltage so that is lambda is what 1 by length selected for the channel that is the formula and that is called what channel length modulation this is in early effect lambda is called process technology parameter so when we are considering the channel length modulation remember one thing you have to consider this formula 1 plus lambda times of vds you have to multiply here this is the formula for saturation without early effect and because of that 1 plus lambda times of vds and lambda is equal to 1 by va now they will ask what they will ask yes sir mansik what is your question sir for esc the same questions will be asked ha huh? uh, they will ask what objective but uh, Uh, in engineering services calculator is not allowed na no? calculator not allowed and that's why in engineering services normally they will ask what statement type of questions we are getting numericals from network signal and system and other subjects but from core subject normally we are getting uh, theoretical question or sometimes very very simple basic questions so that without calculator we can solve but in gate virtual calculator is uh, allowed that's why so now that is the case now here two things is required one is called gm change in id because of change in vgs this is very important one vgs change in id because of change in vds when vds kept constant ye constant first thing second sometimes they will ask gd this is nothing but 1 by rd what is this change in id because of change in vds when vgs kept constant constant so you with this formula you can divide or uh, you can differentiate with respect to what uh, id and with respect to what vgs or with respect to what vds by keeping vgs constant by keeping vds constant you can find the gm and you can find the gd or 1 by rd that is very very important question for electro electronics student uh, yes 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 we are trying to arrange that we will inform you about that jitendra okay enter early voltage potential or the, is that uh, uh okay acha 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 aap puch rahe ho sir net and numerical type of pressure how will the either early voltage positive or negative kumar remember kumar pattapu we have to use the positive value of va actually because if suppose you are using the negative value lambda will become negative so lambda will become negative means what this will become negative to so current uh, is going to increase because of the early effect 
that's why you have to use what uh, mod of v f it is a positive value right you have to use the positive value here then actually this is the early fact is positive value this is what is written here minus v f minus v f means it is a minus 50 or it is equal to minus v f so what is the value of the v f 50 volt positive 50 volt so what is in curve minus v f okay now it is early fact this type of questions if you want the solution of this question i will upload the solution on my telegram channel you can try to solve this question upload the solution on my telegram channel and then uh, this is the very very basic question where we have to find the value of the rd where we have to find the value of the rs so electrical students please prepare this type of questions okay then next one otherwise i will share the link where i have solved this question but you have to pin me on my telegram channel sir i want the solution of this so i will share the link as well as i will share the solution for that second important thing is what mosfet once you have the idea about the uh, saturation reason cutoff reason and uh, 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 linear ohmic reason the next one is what biasing because without biasing we can't use it as what amplifier so what is the biasing so there are different types of biasing dc biasing we are adjusting the operating point by using the dc biasing so these are the different types of biasing try to understand this is the rd rg we are connecting the vgg sometimes you will get the vgg here minus vss here so that you will find the value of vgs here this is very very important vgs directly when we are connecting one battery vg uh, vgg you can adjust the value of what VGS here directly. This is called what simple direct DC biasing, biasing by the fixing the VGS, right? So you will get this type of questions. Once you will get the value of VGS, you can find the value of what current here ID, because ID depends upon the VGS. Then watch this. This is the we are fixing the value of VGS by connecting RS here. Right, you can say, sir, it is just like uh, related to what cell bias circuit. Yes, we can say. But how we can find the VGS? You can write down the KVL here. When we are writing the KVL, you can find the value of VGS in terms of ID, RS, and the what about what about the battery connected here. So that you can apply the KVL at this point. So this is uh, RS. RS. What is the role of RS? Sir, how to solve transistor problems? Transistor problem means which one, Sivnath? I will solve one question. No? I will solve one or two questions on that so that you will get the idea. Yes, I am going to solve this. Then, this is the second type of biasing. Then, this is called potential divider biasing. In case of potential divider biasing, what we are doing? We are connecting the register 1, R1 and R2. Here, VDD is connected. So you can always use this. If this is R1, this is R2, this is VDD is connected, you can convert it into RTH and VTH. What is the VTH? VTH will become R2 by R1 plus R2 into VDD and what is the RTH will become R1 parallel with R2. R1 parallel with R2 and now you can connect this diagram same just like bjt and fet same way electrical students are asking sir question we are getting question from fet yes similar question this is the question after thevenins this is the rth vth now what you can do you can apply a kvl in this loop to find the value of vgs if you want to find the value of the vgs you can write the KVL. Always remember this current is ID. This current is ID. So what is the current IG? IG is always zero because it is an insulated gate field effect transistor. Very small leakage current, but we can neglect it. Now you can write the KVL in this loop. When I am going to uh, write the KVL in this loop, then watch this. When I am going to write the KVL in this loop, very very simple solution you will get vth is equal to 
what is the drop across the RTA? 0 because IG is 0. So VTS is equal to VGS plus ID into RS. Now from this, what is the value of the VGS? VTH minus ID into RS. You will get this equation. Now, this is a one equation you will get, but you have to use what another equation. Sir, RTH ki need nahi hai. Yes, bilkul, Amar. Uh, when we are finding the RTH, just we are wasting our time. Just we are wasting our time because in that case, in that case, what will, what will happen? No use of RTH because there is no drop. Now, once you will get this formula, there is a, another one. You have to assume it is in saturation. For example, you are assuming it is in saturation and then you have to use this formula. Half of K and S W by L VGS minus VT the whole square. And in place of VGS, you have to put this value. VTH minus ID into RS. This is the VTH minus ID into RS. So when we are putting this value, you will get a quadratic equation. And you have to solve the quadratic equation. So one student are trying VGS is not 0 0.7. Yes, this is not 0 0.7. You can't use the 0 0.7. That is a different approach to solve the question. It is not BJT. So what is the approach here? So now watch this question. Very simple approach. First of all, potential divider. Get the value of VTH. Get the value of RTH. Then connect the circuit. Write down the KVL here. Get the relation between VGS and what ID? This is the VGS is equal to VTH minus ID into RS. Then assume transistor is in saturation. If transistor is in saturation, then half of K and S W by L VGS minus VT the whole square. And then put this equation in this one. And you will get a quadratic equation. From quadratic equation, solve this. After solving, put the value of IDS here and you can find the value of VGS. Now, but remember guys, once you are assuming it is in saturation, once you are assuming it is in saturation, always find the VDS. Write down the KVL from this point to this point and find the value of VDS. Okay, so you can write VDD is equal to ID into RD plus VDS plus ID into RS. From that you can find the VDS. And if you are assuming that it is in saturation, then you have to verify it. VDS should be greater than or equal to what? VGS minus VT. So in the question, at starting stage, we can judge. In first stage, we can judge whether it is in triode region or cutoff region or in what saturation region. In numerical, it is very easy to judge. I, am, I will give you the hint how we can judge here. Now. So first of all, that is this type of questions guys. So remember, this is a very, very important one. This is called potential divider biasing. Second one is what directly we are connecting the battery here. Watch this. This is the battery connected here minus VSS. This is the VDD is connected here. Okay. So there are two batteries. One is positive, one is negative. Again, same type of solution. You can write a KVL here. When I am writing the KVL, 0 is equal to VGS plus ID into RS. ID into RS minus VSS. So what is the VGS is equal to? VSS minus ID into RS. Again, same formula. You can use the same formula for this, guys. Again, you can solve. So that is another one. VSS minus ID into RS. So yeah. uh, okay, everyone. So uh, I think you, have, uh, you are enjoying the session. No need to prepare notes. If you have prepared your short notes, okay. If you have not prepared your short notes, you can get this PDF on my Telegram channel that is Electronics by Sanjay Rati. So everyone like the session and share the link of this session and ask your friend to join. Then this one VGS minus VT. Again, same, uh, same logic, same formula, but different KVL here. No need to find the VTH and RTH in this question. Then another type of biasing is what we are connecting the drain to what gate. Now in this question, if the drain is connected to gate, it is in which region everyone tell me. It is in triode region or it is in saturation region. It is a revision class guys, give me the answer. If the drain is connected to gate directly, drain is connected to gate. What is the current here IG? Zero. 
there is no current, but we are connecting the drain with the gate through a register RG, then tell me, it is in which region? So it is in directly in what saturation region? Yes, Meghna, you have given the right answer, Gove or Bhanu, right? So, abhi dekhe zara naam kon kon dera bhai answer. Gautam, okay, Asok, saturation, most of the case, no, 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 Ananta Khanna, most of the cases it is in saturation, that's why we are making sometimes silly mistakes, okay? So, so this is the case, in this case what will happen, because it is connected, there is no current, we can say VDS is equal to VGS, once you can say VDS is equal to VGS, means what VDS is greater than what VGS minus VT, 100% sure, and that's why it is in what saturation, it is in saturation, but remember current should be not equal to 0, it is greater than 0, ID is greater than 0 then we can say it is in what saturation region so directly you can use this formula saturation region always when this type of questions so saturation region no need to verify it sometimes what will happen we are getting some current source here they will give like current source for example 1 milliampere current source so directly you can say the value of id is 1 milliampere value of id is 1 milliampere so how we can prepare this current source? It is nothing but a current mirror circuit. It is nothing but a current mirror circuit. From that what we can do? You can find the value of what current directly ID. So this is called what for constant current so that the ID will remain constant and that is the current mirror circuit. Here we are using the two MOSFET. One is connected here. Both have the same value of the VGS. What is the relation between ID2 and ID1? ID2 is equal to ID2 upon ID1 is equal to W by L of 2 upon W by L of 1 aspect ratio aspect ratio that is called current mirror circuit W by L of 2 upon W by L that is aspect ratio of 1 ID2 upon ID1 if these ratio are same if these ratio are same, then we can say ID2 and ID1 are equal. Otherwise, normally we have to use this formula. And what about the other property K and S, that is mu and Cox are same. And both the transistors should be in which region? Both the transistors should be in saturation region. So, saturation region. And what is the KN? For both, it is same. Mu and Cox is same. Then this is called current mirror circuit. Number of questions on current mirror circuit, guys. Please prepare this. Now, next one. Number of questions on current mirror circuit. Then, if you have any doubts related to that, then you can ask, guys, up to this point. Because I have started with FET, because this is a new topic. Normally, we are revising the diode circuits and what BJT. But this time, we are getting questions on uh, VSG, SD, Hoga, na? Ha. Ananta Ganna, yes, I am just giving you the formula for the P MOSFET. Then, now for example, P MOSFET. Quickly get the idea about the P MOSFET. Okay, in P MOSFET, what we are doing, just remember, find always VSG. This is the S terminal, this is the G terminal. And here we have to find out VSD. VSD. Right, and that is the change in the P MOS. And if the negative value of VTP is given, you have to use the positive value. For example, VTP is given as minus 1 volt. Use the mod of VTP. It will become 1 volt. And always check this. VSG. If it is less than or equal to mod of VTP. Cut off. This formula is very, very important. Then VSG. Greater than VTP. Mod of VTP. Always remember. And then you have to check VSDP. If it is less than Vs, we are just changing the subscript and putting the mod here. That is called triode. Same formula we have to use. Same formula. What is the formula? But you have to use mu p c o x w by n Vs g p minus mod of Vtp Vsd minus half of Vsd square. Are you getting my point everyone? What I have done? Just I have changed the subscript guys. Just I have changed the subscript. 
तो यहां चेक द प्रॉब्लम सर प्लीज सॉल्व टू प्रॉब्लम ऑन द टॉपिक आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दैट आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व नॉट जस्ट आई एम गिविंग यू द फॉर्मुला दिस इज अविक रिविजन म्यूपी सू एच डब्ल्यू एल वेल इट इज इन ट्राइव रीजन बट ऑलवेज चेक दैन चेक दैट वॉट इफ द वी एस जी पी इज ग्रेटर दैन इज इक्वल टू वी एस डी पी इज ग्रेटर दैन और इक्वल टू वी एस जी पी माइनस मॉड ऑफ वी टी पी देन यूज दिस फॉर्मूला हाफ ऑफ म्यूपी सीओ एक्स दिस इज कॉल्ड के पी डेस डब्ल्यू बाई एल वी एस जी पी माइनस वी टी पी द होल स्क्वेयर नाउ इट इज इट इज क्लियर गाइज बट रिमेंबर यू कैन कन्वर्ट द पी मॉस इन टू अ टेन मॉस and convert the pmos into nmos and solve the questions then it will become very very easy for you it will become very easy for you what is the condition for using the mosfet as a register mosfet as a register means what vds already i have given na cut uh, this should be very very small when this is of this term is half of vsd is very very small that is it, it is in linear ohmic region This is in a special case of triode region. This is the condition for the triode region, and what is the condition for the resistance? That V S D should be very, very, very small, right? And that is the condition. Then, what to do? I uh, okay then. Now this is about the MOSFET. Now, if you want to solve some questions, then watch this. This type of questions quickly. In the circuit shown in the figure, MOSFET is operating in saturation zone. Already, it is given in saturation zone. Read question carefully. First thing, right? Read question carefully. What is given in the question? Already, it is given in saturation region. There is no need to verify it. The characteristics of the MOSFET is given. Already, characteristics is also given. All constant is half one by two. Means what? Half of mu n c u x w by n. All are equal to what one by two means. What is the value of this one? Then VGS is in volt. If VS is plus five volt, where VS is connected here, VS VS means source voltage is five volt. Then find the then the value of RS in kilo ohm. So guys, it is in saturation region. You have to use what potential divider, potential divider, na? Do you have to find the VTH? What is the value of the VTH? Seven divided by eight plus. Normally they are giving very simple calculation. Fifteen. So you will get the seven volt. Now you have the VTH, and and that is the formula. Then what I have said here. Simply draw the diagram. No need to find the RTH. This is the seven volt. You have to find the value of the VGA, VTS, VGS, and RS, and then this is RD, and this is fifteen volt. Okay, and then VS is five volt. It is given. VS is five volt. It is given, guys. Then, if it is five volt. What is the value of the VG? Seven volt. This is connected here. Seven volt because there is no current through the RS. So seven minus five. So what is the value of VGS? VG minus VS. Seven minus five. That is the two volt. Now you have the value of two volt. Then simply you can find the value of ID because to find the value of RS you have to find the value of ID also. Now, what is the value of the id because it is in saturation you can put the value half of so already it is given formula is vgs minus 1 vth is 1 the whole square so it will become 2 minus 1 the whole square that is equal to 0.5 milli ampere okay then what is the vs vs is nothing but id into rs id into rs So yes, you can find what is the RS is equal to VS upon ID. Five upon point five. That is nothing but ten kilo ohm. Easy question. Ten kilo ohm. That is the answer for this particular question, guys. So what we have done, we have just used the potential divider circuit. Find the value of the. 
तो इन न्यूमेरिकल दे विल प्रोवाइड यू द वैल्यू दे विल गिव यू द सम इन्फॉर्मेशन और यू कैन जज वेदर इट इज इन सेचुरेशन और इन वॉट कट ऑफ तो दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू सॉल्व आई थिंक नॉट इज क्लियर टू यू एनी डाउट नाउ सेकेंड वन समटाइम्स वी आर गेटिंग नॉर्मली दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन तो डायरेक्टली इट इज इन विच रीजन टेल मी इट इज इन विच रीजन इट इज इन सेचुरेशन रीजन वेन दिस इज कनेक्टेड टू दैट तो वीडीएस एंड वीडीएस विल बिकम इक्वल ऑलवेज देन इट इज इन सेचुरेशन फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ वैल्यू रिक्वायर्ड फॉर आर एंड द डीसी वोल्ट इज बी डी Let the NMOS as ID. VT is equal to 0.6 volt. Mu and Cu X is this one. L is given. W is neglect the channel length modulation effect. Neglect lambda is zero. Neglect the channel length modulation effect. You have to find the value of R D and what V D. Then it is in what saturation, guys? It is in saturation directly. You can use this formula. I D is equal to half of K and S W by L V G S. Minus V T the whole square. What is the I D is given directly? You can use the eighty half of K and S is mu and C X two hundred. Or always check the unit eighty microampere eighty microampere W by L four by point eight. So forty by eight that is the five. You have to find the V G S. And what is the V T is given point six the whole square. Now that question will become very very easy. It is in saturation. Now this is the hundred four by forty means four forty uh, by eight. Forty by eight is five five hundred eighty by five hundred. Check my calculation root over that. That is the value of VGS minus zero point six. Tell me what is the value of VGS? You can find the you will find the plus minus value, but always remember vgs should be greater than vt vgs should be greater than vt otherwise it will be in cut off check this value now once you have this once you have this i think it is my calculation is perfect now okay now once you have the value of vgs vgs is nothing but vds or vds is nothing but vd finished Because V S is zero. Because V S is zero, so V D S and V G are equal. And now you can find the value of R. V D D minus V D upon I D. V D D minus V D upon I D will give you the value of R. Is it clear? And I easy. हाँ वो तो आ जाएगा ना पॉइंट फोर तो आ जाएगा वन वोल्ट आई थिंक वी जी एस इज इक्वल टू वन वोल्ट वी जी एस इज इक्वल टू वॉट वन वोल्ट पॉइंट वन सिक्स आई थिंक ओके हाँ ठीक है एंड देन यू विल गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ आर ट्वेंटी फाइव किलो ओम तो आई थिंक नाउ ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स इलेक्ट्रिकल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इज इट क्लियर दिस इज द सो सिंपल क्वेश्चन इन वॉट दिस इज कॉल्ड बाइसिंग एंड स्टेबलाइजेशन ऑफ वॉट मॉसफेट बाइसिंग एंड स्टेबलाइजेशन ऑफ मॉसफेट okay then then second type of question is what uh, uh, second type of questions we are getting in a uh, small signal model so what is the small signal model of fet watch this the small signal model means ac analysis i am going to just explain you the ac analysis so this is a small signal model gm vgs at the uh, normally we are using what common source amplifier this is the for example this is a uh, mosfet normally we are connecting the input here we are getting the output from drain we are giving input to gate and source is common terminal and that's why it's called common source common source most popularly used configuration is common source just like common emitter it has 180 degree phase shift right okay to dekhte hain then kya puch rahe ho yaar ye thoda sa main greatest indian railways ek to aapka naam hi itna bada hai ki gi sir value of r the value of r you have 25 kilo ohm 25 kilo ohm okay 
now so you have to focus on this because we are going to get question on this diagram guys so what is this a small signal model for example gm vgs this is a current source r not is nothing but rd i have given rd is equal to 1 by gd how to find gd already i have given gd is nothing but change in current because of change in vds when we are keeping vgs constant you have to find this question from what dc analysis change in id because of change in vds rd is equal to 1 by gd then it is called gm gm is the transconductance already i have given you the formula change in id because of change in vgs here it will act as open circuit because the input resistance is infinite there is no current ig is zero and on this vgs it depends okay so that is a model for mosfet now uh now guys remember uh you you can solve questions based on this particular model which type of questions we are getting uh for example if any sometimes we are getting very very basic question like this which one of the following gain equation is correct for mosfet common source amplifier gm is a mutual conduction and rd is load resistance at the drain tell me which one of the following gain equation is correct so guys gain equation means what you can use this model this is the model i'm just just you can give me the answer whether a b c or d just i'm giving you the basic idea which model which one is the correct actually it is the magnitude is given only magnitude is of the gain is given so which one is the correct one otherwise very very simple thing suppose any model is given all new students remember if the vi input is given here we are getting the output and one capacitor is connected here this is the v not this is the rd this is the vdd right that is the question it is given and what is the gain it is asked what is the gain it is asked then remember it is a ac analysis if gain is asked means it is a ac analysis now if it is ac analysis what we can do remember first of all all the dc sources will be zero this vdd will be zero all coupling capacitor this is called coupling capacitor this will act as short circuit this will act as short circuit now you can make proper model here this is the gm vgs everyone please remember this sometimes we have to make the model here that is what rd okay and this is the gate terminal and this is the source terminal remember this this is the source terminal this is the model now this source is connected to ground so you can directly connect it to the ground this is the ground common ground it will become common ground here input is connected it is given vi and this vi will become vgs okay now from drain to ground drain this is the ground drain to ground rd is connected you can also connect rd to so electrical students electronics students sometimes we have to make the model and it is a very very simple solution right two marks question you are going to solve so dc to short circuit now this is the case now guys these two are in parallel so it is called rd des rd parallel with rd okay and now what is the output voltage upon this one this is called gain what is the gain here this current minus gm vgs it is multiplied with this resistor that is called rd des this is called output voltage upon what is the input voltage input voltage is equal to vgs so what is the gain we are getting minus gm rd des actually this is the gain actually this is the gain minus gm into rd s right now this is clear we are getting 180 degree phase shift gm is the transconductor rd des is rd parallel with rd but sometimes if small rd is not given means we are neglecting early effect so when we are neglecting the early effect small rd will become infinite lambda 0 
early fact va will become infinity when the va will become infinity early voltage lambda zero and small rd will become infinite then in that case rd des infinite parallel with rd is nothing but rd and we are getting minus gm into rd remember so it is magnitude is asked so magnitude is asked that's why the answer is b <laughs> otherwise that is the answer can you solve this question electrical or electronics students rajesh yes this is for electrical simple model very very simple model this is a this is the question find gain because i am using the word find mid band voltage gain this is the question very very simple two mark question find mid band voltage gain and that diagram is given so coupling capacitor will act as short circuit connect the model or find the formula or directly you can use this formula also right small rd is equal to 1 upon lambda id that is also correct yes I, with rs i am going to explain this okay i think this is clear to you everyone this is clear to you yes yes okay now with rs if it is rs rs is given don't worry for example if rs is given this is rd so same logic we are going to use in case of what bjt we are getting the output here here the vi it is connected but now this time vi is not equal to vgs na this is very important one so this is the vgs use the small signal it is visible to you everyone vdd rd and this is the coupling capacitor here use always remember this will become zero all the coupling capacitor will act as what short circuit all the coupling capacitor will act as short circuit right now then then what we can do we same model because we are having the same model here the gm vgs you have to use remember this is how connection after that it is network only then a small rd this is the drain terminal this is the source this is the gate now this voltage is vgs always remember this voltage is vgs because on vgs this depends vgs now here the battery is connected here now from this point we are having one register rs is connected and now this is the ground you can make a common ground here okay then from gate to ground vi is connected from gate to ground now this vi is connected we have just connected the rs here then from drain to ground rd is connected rd is connected this is the exact diagram here everyone that first of all tell me that diagram is clear i'm go, i'm going to give you the shortcut but it is clear if they are going to ask nat type question numerical answer type question you have to give the exact answer is it the model now once it is the model is clear then what we can do you have to apply some network then remember this is the current current is what uh, you can say that is the current id so id you can write here id minus gm vgs this current will become id minus gm vgs again it will become id again it will become what id now you can use the network here you can write the kvl in the input loop so you can write vi is equal to vgs plus id into rd id into rs id into rs write down the kvl and from that you can find the vgs is equal to vi minus id into rs okay then second you can write the kvl in this loop where you can write the kvl in this loop in this loop you can write the kvl when i am writing the kvl you can write here id into capital rd plus id minus gm vgs into small rd 
प्लस आई डी इंटू आर एस इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ यू कैन रिप्लेस दी जी एस बाय दिस वैल्यू वी आई माइनस आई डी इंटू आर एस तो यू कैन राइट आई डी दिस इज द आर डी कॉमन प्लस स्मॉल आर डी कॉमन दिस वन प्लस आर एस कॉमन माइनस जी एम आर डी जी एम आर डी और वी जी एस इज रिप्लेस बाई वॉट वी आई माइनस आई डी इंटू आर एस वी आई माइनस आई डी इंटू आर एस इज इक्वल टू वॉट जीरो नाउ फ्रॉम दिस फॉर्मूला यू कैन फाइंड वॉट आई डी तो वॉट इज द आई डी आई एम गोइंग टू राइट हियर यू कैन राइट द आई डी इज इक्वल आई डी कॉमन है आर डी प्लस स्मॉल आर डी प्लस आर एस प्लस जी एम आर डी जी एम आर डी आर एस इज इक्वल टू इट विल बिकम माइनस जी एम आर डी वी आई इट विल बिकम प्लस जी एम आर डी वी आई फ्रॉम दिस यू कैन फाइंड आई डी You can say, sir, it is a very lengthy. No, 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 no. It is a very, very important shortcut. You can directly use this formula to find the gain, guys. And that is the value of ID. And tell me, guys, what is the V naught? V naught is ID into RD minus. V naught is minus ID into RD. Now you can replace the ID in terms of what VI, and you can get the voltage gain. What will become? This will become minus G M R D V I capital R D upon what? This value R D plus small R D plus R S R S is common one plus G M R D. This is R S is common, and what is the gain? We not upon V I. You can find exact gain. You can find. Exact gain you can find with negative sign minus G M R D R capital R D upon capital R D plus small R D plus R S one plus. Now I am going to give you the shortcut, guys. This is the formula. Plus R S. This is the formula. Okay. Now what is the shortcut here? So what is the method to solve this question? If R S is given, connect the model. Find that you have to write the two K V L, one at the input, one at the output. Replace the V G S in terms of V I, so that you will find the value of what uh, I D, and then you will get this gain with one eighty degree phase shift when R S is connected here. If suppose you have the formula, directly you can use this formula. What is the gain here? V naught upon V I is equal to minus G M. R D R D upon what is this? R D plus R D plus R S one plus G M R D. This is the formula. Okay. Remember this formula. If R S is given, if suppose the R S is zero, then what will happen? If suppose the R S is zero, then what will happen? If this R S is zero, you can neglect this term. If your R S is zero, you can neglect this term. You will get G M R D R D upon what R D plus R D. So guys, this is what R D R D upon R D plus R D. This is nothing but parallel connection. So it will become minus G M R D dash. So already we have find. Already we have find without R S. We have find na this one with R S. This one. Same answer. Minus G M R D dash without R S. And this is with R S. So if if you can recall this formula, you can use direct directly. You can use this formula. We have to add extra term R S into one plus G M R D. If R S is not there, yes. Second shortcut. If R S is given, R S is given. Then remember this term is very very greater than normally. If it is very very greater than R D plus R D. You can neglect the small R D plus capital R D, and normally G M R D is very very greater than one. So you can neglect the one. So G M R D, G M R D cancel. And what is the shortcut for this? 
minus R D by R S, and that is the shortcut for this. So it is overestimated value, overestimated value minus R D by R S. So electrical students, electronic students, if the R D or R S is given, so sometimes always if it is a MCQ type questions, MCQ multiple choice question. Four options. So you can first of all verify it. Minus R D by R S. If suppose you are getting the minus ten here, and it is a overestimated value, and the lowest answer is minus ten, that is the correct because exact value is less than that. Exact value is always less than this. Magnitude will be less than this. Second, if if it is not possible, then if it is a numerical answer type question, if you it is possible, then you can use directly this formula. You can save your time. If suppose it is not possible to recall the formula, then make the model, draw the diagram, and solve it. Okay, we are getting this type of questions, guys. Okay, we are getting on basis of this model. Then I think it is clear to you. For example, this was the question. You have to use the model here. Network plus analog. Network plus analog here. You have to find the Thevenin's resistor or Norton's resistance at this point. Using the incremental low frequency small signal model of the MOS device, the Norton's equivalent resistance of the following circuit. So, which one? Which answer is correct? In same. You have to use what is small signal model. That input signal is zero because when we are finding the Norton's resistance, we have to make the input voltage zero. Same model you have to use this, right? So when the quickly I am going to give you the answer just to get the basic idea. Model. First of all, use the model. GMVGS. Same model. RD. Remember, this is zero because when we are when we want to find this is the drain terminal, this is the gate terminal. Gate terminal is connected to ground. So this is the gate terminal. This is connected to ground here because VI is zero. This is the source terminal. This is the ground, and here you have to find the Norton's equivalent. And from drain to ground, R is connected. This is a small signal model, and now you have to use the concept of network here. What is the concept of network here? If you want to find the Norton's resistance here, you have to connect a one volt battery here. One volt battery here, and this voltage is this is the gate terminal. This is the source. So this voltage is VGS. VGS. The same logic we are using. If it is we are connecting the one volt battery, let like this is the I. So what is the Norton's resistance or Thevenin's resistance? One by I. You have to find the one by I only. Now, same logic. If it is the GMVGS, this is I. So you can write this current is what I plus GMVGS. And again, here it will become I. Same current will flow I like this. Write down the two KVL only and find the one by I. One KVL in this loop, you will write VGS plus one volt. VGS plus one volt is equal to zero, so it will become VGS is equal to minus one volt. Finished. And one KVL here. One KVL in this loop. Same concept. One KVL in this loop. So when I am writing the one KVL in this loop, you will get. One is equal to one plus GM because VGS is minus one volt. So you can write here. Okay, okay, no problem. At the end we will replace I plus GM VGS into RD. I plus GM VGS RD plus I R plus I into R. Finished. Now you can replace the VGS by what one volt, so it will become one is equal to I R D plus R 
माइनस जी एम माइनस जी एम इंटू आर डी नाउ कैन यू फाइंड द वन बाई आई कैन यू फाइंड द वन बाई आई दैट विल बिकम वन बाई आर आर प्लस आर डी अपॉन वन प्लस जी एम आर डी राइट नाउ यू कैन फाइंड द वन बाई आई तो दिस इज कॉल्ड यूज ऑफ मॉडल गाइस तो विच आंसर इज करेक्ट वॉट इज द थेवन इंस रजिस्टेंस हियर नॉट एंस रजिस्टेंस ऑफ थेवन इंस दिस बी इज द आंसर I think now you got the use of the small signal model, guys, for FET. A small signal model for FET. This is uh, biasing and stabilization of FET. This is the part of what analog, and how to use the model for this one. This is a very important one. Okay then. So this is a case, guys. Now. B is the answer. Second important thing is what uh, uh, current mirror circuit. Current mirror circuit for by using the MOSFET we are getting question. Last year again one one, one question on current mirror circuit. Uh, the circuit in which output current is forced to equal the input current is called a current mirror circuit. Okay. Then simplicity in circuit design, easy to fabricate, minimum number of components and required, low cost. These are the advantages of current mirror circuit. Important for MSQ. important for multiple select question current mirror circuit why it is preferable in ic fabrication it is preferable okay then then guys this is a current mirror circuit already i have given if this ratio is for 2 and this is the ratio for 1 then this current will become w by l of 2 w by l of 1 Into I reference, or if this ratio are equal, then we can say output current is exactly equal to I reference. Remember, when the drain is connected to gate, this is in saturation, and we are having the same VGS in parallel. That's why it is also in saturation. Both the MOSFET should be in what saturation, and K and S is same. Mu and U X is the same, identical. mosfet for high frequency yes i will give you the idea about that first of all current mirror circuit now that is the case then this is the case uh second which this type of questions we are getting from the current mirror circuit guys when there is a dot if the dot is connected means what it is a pmos yes you can uh, design the current mirror circuit by using the pmos also so which type of correction in pmos remember in pmos we are having so normally uh, in pmos this is connected here right this is the pmos and this type of diagram we are getting this is the gate this is the drain because it will provide the source current here it will provide the source current here and then here we are connecting the load or this type of diagram so for example this one in question is it visible and that is the current output so this will give you the current so this is the output current so this is the p uh, uh, current mirror circuit by using the pmos if the bubble is given okay then uh, the what is the question mosfet in saturation yes mosfet should be in saturation kn agar different ho jaye to then that is not possible aman anmanta not possible fir na that will not work what is the condition for that mu and cox should be same mu and cox should be same otherwise it will not work it is not visible okay visible na chalo jaldi se bata do fir aage badhte ho operational amplifier and stay tuned with me here within 5 hours we are going to revise each and everything if you are having some doubts then you can ask okay this one current mirror circuit means what first of all watch this it is a 1 milliampere what is the ratio given 3 and what is the ratio here on 2 to 3 and 2 if it is given then now this is the diagram very very easy question current mirror circuit that watch this is the 
pair you can write in exam to avoid the silly mistakes you can write the number like this is the mosfet number 1 mosfet number 2 this is the mosfet number 3 mosfet number 4 mosfet number 5 and 6 will make a current mirror circuit and this is the lead this is the seventh okay then watch this diagram what is the v1 v1 is there is any information about the v1 v1 is given as zero and v2 is v2 is here vdd v2 is vdd when the v1 is zero means it is in cutoff it is in cutoff and vdd is uh, this is given it is in saturation region so that will act as what short circuit but this will act as what open circuit what will be the current here zero this one act as open circuit fourth one will act as open circuit current is zero because it is a zero supply it is a n mosfet now this is one milliampere this is the two this is the three so what is the current through this it will become three by two w by l three by two into one and that will become 1.5 milliampere now what is the current here zero and that's why this 1.5 milliampere will come from this 1.5 1.5 it will allow the current 1.5 now this is 1.5 so what will be the current this will our current mirror circuit so this current is 1.5 this is the 40 this is the 10 so 40 by 10 i out is equal to 40 by 10 times of 1.5 that is nothing but 6 milliampere answer is what 6 milliampere is it clear my calculation is perfect so first of all it will increase by what 3 by 2 times because that aspect ratio is 3 by 2 so it, 1 will become 1.5 then again it is increased by 4 times because aspect ratio is 4 by 1 4 by 10 so that is the 4 times so 1.5 into 4 6 milliampere this is the output current so current mirror circuit very very easy topic now you can solve this type of question okay 6 is the now in 2023 that question was different you can solve the previous year question now this is all about the current mirror circuit and so on and one student is asking sir high frequency analysis so with in next part next part means what in second half just continuously past five hours with bjt we will cover what high frequency analysis of mosfet only uh, sir why fourth fed is zero fourth one na? one which one fourth one ha v1 is given zero guys fourth one is uh, why the current is zero because this v1 is zero vi is zero when it is zero means what uh, what is the logic because it is n mos so n mos it is less than the threshold voltage that's why it is in cutoff that's why it is in what cutoff. Now it is clear. See ma'am, watch this. Actually, this voltage is what positive. This voltage is positive here. This voltage is zero here means what is the VGS? Negative. When the VGS is negative means this is in cutoff. Remove. This path is in series. That's why there is no current in this path. We are getting the current from this part. And this what is the VT? V2 it is given. V2 is given as VDD in question. Okay then. Now, okay. I think you have enjoyed the MOSFET. I think that all uh, 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 already I have covered all type of biasing and stabilization of MOSFET, a small signal model, how to find the Norton's resistance. Please get the command over what is small signal model of MOSFET because it is an important part of analog and some types of question biasing and stabilization and electronics student early effect that is what channel length modulation channel length modulation it is important okay consider it then then and solve previous year question now now guys second very very important thing is what operational amplifier second topic i am going to enter i think all are ready and guys uh, at the evening you can uh, install the byju's exam prep app how many students you have installed thank you mansi uh you have installed now the byju's exam prep app so first of all you can install from google play store and you can attempt free quizzes there 
free quizzes means uh, there are number of questions on this topic that is on analog and you can solve if you find any difficulty please pin me on my telegram channel that is electronics by sanjay rathi I, I will try to cover those topics guys and for pdf join my telegram channel where i will upload the pdf of this session also all the but it will be password protected at the end i will give you the password okay now no 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 operational amplifier second very very important topic so please read this what are the important about this one give me one minute only after that we will take 10 minutes break after operational amplifier Uh, important topic to yes already starting at the starting just one already I have given a what are the important topics for that Tell me, not as clear. Ab aare, next topic hum log start kar rahe hai, that is Okay then, now, characteristics of operational amplifier, okay, that is an operational amplifier, uh, this is an important topic uh, for uh, all the branch electrical or electronics, so quickly we are going to revise, first of all uh, they can give what question on MSQ, MSQ based question, the characteristics, properties, so what are the properties? Voltage gain, input resistance, output resistance, gain bandwidth product, bandwidth, CMRR, common mode rejection ratio, sleeve rate. So these are the property, right? And uh, sometimes we are getting question on what sleeve rate. I will explain what is the CMRR. These are very very important one. CMRR and uh, sleeve rate. Then voltage gain, as you know, infinite, infinite. Output resistance zero. Gain bandwidth product should be infinite. Bandwidth should be infinite. CMRR should be infinite. Sleeve rate should be infinity. And these all are what practical values. And what is the unit of the slew rate? Volt per microsecond. And what is slew rate? Any idea, guys? Please give me the comments. To volt per microsecond, and it is a very typical value. What uh, one to two volt per microsecond, or very high value? We are getting eighty volt per microsecond, right? So these are the ideal values, and these are the practical values for operational amplifier. So characteristics. Now. As you know, that is the symbol for the operational sleeve rate means what? Uh, simply, I'm going to explain you. Sleeve rate means maximum rate of change of output voltage. Maximum rate of change of output voltage that is called sleeve rate under closed loop condition. Under closed loop condition, that is very important, right? So this is a closed loop condition. Maximum rate of change of output voltage that is not the gain, guys. That is not the gain. Now, what we can write is dv naught by dvi. We can multiply with the dvi. We can divide by the dvi. Then it will become what? This is called gain, closed loop gain. And that's why it will become this is the formula. If you have the idea about what is the maximum rate of change of the input, then this is the slew rate. 
second important thing sometimes it is sinusoidal is signal maximum time it is sinusoidal signal is given if it is sinusoidal signal is given then you can differentiate it it will become vm omega cos of omega t so what is the maximum value when it is 1 when it is 1 so what is the maximum value of the dvi by dt vm omega m omega m is the frequency where this term cos omega t will become 1 so this is the maximum value of rate of change of vi so it will become vm omega m so you can put this value in sleeve rate so it will become sleeve rate is equal to closed loop gain into vm omega m this is a very 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 important formula guys very very important one for sinusoidal signal remember sinusoidal signal now from this formula if the sleeve rate is given you can find what is the maximum frequency of operation if the sleeve rate is given closed loop gain is given maximum frequency of operation is given you can find the what is the maximum amplitude of the input signal or if it is asked in frequency uh, hertz then you can replace the omega m by what 2 pi fm then again this is a very very important formula and you can find the fm from that so what is the omega m is equal to 2 pi fm is equal to lieu rate divided by closed loop gain into what vm that will become so this is called maximum frequency of operation in radian per second fm is called in hertz so this is all about what sleeve rate so what is the ideal value of the sleeve rate in finite ideal value of the slew rate is what infinity and then so they are giving different or but please take care of this if the slew rate is given 2 volt per microsecond don't use this right so some students are putting the 2 no 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 2 volt per microsecond means it will become 2 into 10 to the power 6 volt per second first of all convert it into per second and use this value as a slew rate use this value as a slew rate guys otherwise you will get the wrong answer that is the case about the slew rate i think now it is clear guys okay then that is the one property of operational amplifier ask your friend to join the session okay join uh, okay then now second one uh, now operational amplifier this is the symbol for the operational amplifier this is the plus v set minus v set we are having the two terminal one is called non inverting terminal one is called inverting terminal and that is the output then in a quick revision we are having the three different modes one is called inverting mode another one is called non inverting mode and third one is called what differential mode so what is the inverting non inverting and differential mode then <coughs> these are the mode of operation inverting non inverting and differential mode so this is the first uh, always remember inverting mode get all the formula about the inverting mode but uh, electrical students and all the electronics students normally we are using this formula minus rf by r1 no doubt there is a 180 degree phase shift but it is an ideal condition guys what is the ideal condition we are using the virtual short concept this is called negative terminal voltage is equal to positive terminal voltage both are zero this is the special case of virtual short that is called virtual ground process and what we are doing just we are putting the kcl here and what is the current enter into the operational amplifier zero why the current enter into the operational amplifier zero because input resistance is infinite now this is zero this is zero you can put a kcl here zero minus v in upon r in 0 minus V in upon R1, normally it is called R1, and 0 minus V out upon RF. 0 minus, this is the KCL, 0 minus V out upon RF. When we are solving this, you will get the V0 upon V in is equal to minus RF by R1. So, uh, new students, remember, in case of operational amplifier, it is very, very easy to solve. Simply write down the KCL and use the virtual short concept that is VP is equal to VN is equal to 0. 
and write down the KCL 0 minus V in upon R1, 0 minus V out upon RF and that you will get the answer. So, normally we are using this under ideal case, under ideal case. But if suppose it is a practical case, operational amplifier is practical, AV is given, AV is not infinity, here we are assuming that like the AV, the internal voltage is infinite. But if it is not infinity, then remember this formula. Remember this formula, you can't use the virtual short concept. Then you will get this formula, AV beta upon 1 plus AV beta into minus RF by R1. For example, if the AV is given, 100. You can put 100 here beta. What is the beta here? R1 upon R1 plus RF. That is called beta. R1 upon R1 plus RF. And that is called what? Exact gain for non-ideal operational amplifier if AV is not equal to 0. So, sometimes we are getting question AV is not 0. 100 is given, you can, you have to use this formula and get the answer negative because it is inverting operational amplifier, inverting operational amplifier. Any doubt in this question? <coughs> Second one, for ideal condition, if they ask what is the input resistance at this point? What is the input resistance seen by V? It is R1. It is R1, right? This is the ideal condition. R in is equal to what? R1. But if it is a practical condition, then what is the input resistance seen at this point? Then guys, you have to use what uh, another formula. I am just giving you because it is a very important one. So, how we can find the input resistance? How we can find the input resistance in this case? Yes. Simply, you have to use what? Miller's theorem. This is the R1 and break this register and that will become RF upon 1 minus AV. And here you will get, so just with this we can revise the Miller's theorem also, RF AV upon AV minus 1. So, first of all, break this register RF, R1 and get the, this is called VI here. This is the VN, this is the VP. In this formula, when we are breaking this register, always use AV is what negative value. For example, it is the magnitude is given 100. You have to use what minus 100. So, minus 100 plus 1, minus minus plus and 101. This is the RF, this is the R1. Okay, now up to this point the resistance is infinite. Input resistance is what? Infinity if it is given. So, what is the input resistance seen here? What is the input resistance seen to the V in? V in by I that is given R in that is given as R1 plus RF upon 1 minus AV. This is the exact formula. This one is the exact formula. Okay, but no need to use the model directly, directly you can find this value RF upon, it is called Miller's theorem, we have applied the Miller's theorem, you have to add this extra term RF upon 1 minus AV, normally students are ignoring this, when we are ignoring this you will get the wrong answer if it is, a, uh, if you have to find the exact value, so that is what Miller's theorem to find the input resistance, otherwise under ideal condition directly you can say R1, under ideal condition it is R1. But here these days we are getting some question, practical question and it is a quick revision. You have to use the Miller's theorem. Now, so this is a quick revision of the Miller's theorem also. Then, uh, if suppose it is asked what is the error between what exact value and approximated value, so you can find approximated value minus exact value upon exact value. What is the approximated value magnitude Rf by R1? What is the exact value Rf by R1 into what? AV beta upon 1 plus AV beta upon exact value Rf by R1 into AV beta upon 1 plus AV beta. When we are solving, we will get the error 1 upon AV beta into 100 percent. 
1 upon AV beta into what 100 percent that is the error that is called what error in calculation. Yes, AV is the open loop gain for operational amplifier. So normally it is infinite, but practically it is not infinity. They will provide you the data. So this is the error in calculation. This is important formula. 1 upon AV beta. Then non-inverting, when I am talking about the non-inverting operational amplifier. In non-inverting operational amplifier, non-inverting, uh, uh, one minute. Second topic is what non-inverting operational amplifier, just I am going to explain you this one. Huh? So, in non-inverting operational amplifier, what we are doing? We are connecting input to non-inverting terminal. When we are connecting input to non-inverting terminal, to quickly write all these formula. This is the Vs. This is RF, this is R1, this is ground, this is called non-inverting operational amplifier. What is the exact gain, uh, approximated gain? 1 plus RF by R1. What is the exact gain V0 by Vs? AV upon 1 plus AV beta. This is the AV is the open loop gain AV beta. What is the beta? R1 upon R1 plus RF. R1 upon R1 plus Rf. What is the error? Same error. 1 upon AV beta into 100 percent. 1 upon AV beta upon 100 percent. That is the error in case of non-inverting also. Now, what is the input resistance seen? Input resistance seen is what? Infinite. Ideal condition, it is infinite. Why? Because what is the current given by the Vs? Zero. Under practical condition, what will be the input resistance? That is a very, very important question. Very, very important one. Right. So, what is the important here? Kya ho gaya bhai? Uh, grade up app mein classes to ho rahi hai na, Sayad? I think. Aaj aap log, please everyone install the uh, Baidu's exam prep where you will get quiz. Try to solve. Jitne bhi aapko quizzes milenge na, wo question solve karo waha ja kar. क्वेश्चन प्रैक्टिस हो जाएगी एंड अगर कुछ प्रॉब्लम आती है तो मुझे इन्फॉर्म कीजिए ठीक है तो इट इज इन वन शॉट वी हैव टू रिवाइज तो देखो अंडर आइडियल कंडीशन इट इज इंफिनिटी अंडर प्रैक्टिकल कंडीशन व्हाट विल बी द इनपुट रेजिस्टेंस अंडर प्रैक्टिकल कंडीशन ऑलवेज यूज दिस फार्मूला आर आई एफ इज इक्वल टू आर आई इनटू 1 प्लस बीटा एन बी नॉट व्हाट इज द आर आई आर आई इज द इनपुट रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ O o open loop operational amplifier. This is the array. This is the array. What is the AV? Open loop gain of operational amplifier. Right? Array. Beta, as you know, beta is R1 upon R1 plus RF. So, no doubt RIF is greater than RI. RIF means input resistance is greater than what uh, input resistance for open loop system. So the, you have to use this formula. Second, what is the ROF? ROF means uh, what is the output resistance? If the output resistance is given 1 plus beta AV, you have to divide it by 1 plus beta AV. You will get the exact formula for input resistance and output resistance. Right? Okay, so that is the case, guys. Okay, then. Now, Second one, so yeah, it is about the non-inverting operational amplifier. Then uh, we have, first uh, I want to give you the one information that guys, this is the revision marathon schedule. Please everyone, please note that uh, digital electronics 10 a.m. analog circuit uh, 9th of Jan, then signal and please take a screenshot of that and subscribe our channel. 11th of January network theory, then communication system power system and after that on 15th of Jan I will take what EDC that is called electronic devices and circuit and then control system right and EMFT engineering mathematics and again engineering mathematics that is the schedule for coming classes. So uh, join the telegram channel join uh, subscribe the channel so that you are not going to miss any class 
okay then so this is the revision method already now you got the idea about the non inverting and inverting operational amplifier then sometimes we are getting this type of questions guys tell me what will be the answer what will be the answer for example this is a msq msq uh, inverting operational amplifier shown in the figure has an open loop gain of 100 open loop gain of what 100 no doubt the feedback amplifier we are assuming that this is not in syllabus but they can give this type of questions kal to kuch aur tha sir nahi same hi hoga schedule same schedule i think the inverting operational amplifier shown in the figure has an open loop voltage gain of 100 for example it is a when open loop gain is given as 100 then remember it is a practical question. Ri is not given means you have to take the Ri is equal to infinity. Ri is equal to what? Infinity. And then feedback mechanism is voltage series feedback. So there are four types of feedback mechanism. Four types of feedback mechanism is what? Uh, uh, just uh, I will share my link. But first of all, give me which answer is correct. Everyone tell me which are correct here. Please read question carefully. Then I will give the answer for this one. Which are correct? Are MSQ hai jada one more than one answer is correct. This is my telegram channel link electronics by Sanjay Rati. तो देखो भाई यहां पर जो आपको फीडबैक मैकेनिज्म है ना इट इज अ वोल्टेज देयर आर फोर टाइप्स ऑफ फीडबैक मैकेनिज्म वोल्टेज सीरीज वोल्टेज शंट करंट सीरीज करंट शंट तो हियर द फीडबैक मैकेनिज्म इज वोल्टेज शंट तो दिस इज रॉन्ग हियर द फीडबैक मैकेनिज्म इज वोल्टेज शंट यू हैव टू रिकॉल दिस ओके दैट इज रॉन्ग now exact gain you can find the exact gain already i have given you the formula what is the exact gain minus r by r1 into av beta upon 1 plus av beta so beta is r1 upon r1 plus rf r1 is given as 1 and rf is given as 10 1 divided by 11 av is given as 100 minus 10 divided by 1 into 100 into 1 by 11 upon 1 plus 100 by 11 it is nearly equal to minus 9 nearly equal to minus 9 that is called exact gain so this is correct input resistance seen by vs is 1.1 kilo ohm what about the input resistance already i have said now which theorem miller's theorem you have to apply what is the Miller's theorem? What is the Miller's theorem? According to Miller's theorem, already I have given. What is the input resistance seen here? Rn is given by R1 plus Rf upon 1 minus AV beta. And I, already I have said you have to use the negative value of the AV. Then it will become 1 plus Rf10 upon minus of minus 100 into 1 by 11 now tell me guys what is the answer nearly equal to 1.1 kilo ohm nearly equal to 1.1 kilo ohm miller's theorem that's why this answer is also correct input distance error in the approximated calculation will be 11 percent what is the error in the calculation 1 by av beta error in the calculation is given by 1 upon av beta into 100 percent 1 upon 100 into 1 by 11 into 100 what is this 11 percent 11 percent is the error so which answers are correct b c d if you are giving the partial answer, you will get the zero marks. But just you are wasting your time. 
full answer you have to give. I think now it is clear. Inverting operational amplifier, it is very very important one. If we are getting the MSQ on that, it will become very important. Get, get every idea about that. Uh, different aspect. Now, so this type of question you may expect from that. Okay, so remember that. Now, this diagram, this is homework for you. Uh, already in my session, already I have solved this. Number of times I have solved this question, you can watch this. This is again an inverting operational amplifier. I am going, uh, I am going to give you the hint here. This is the value, virtual short concept. You have to apply the KCL at this point, 0 minus V in upon 1, 0 minus Vx, you can take the Vx, 0 minus Vx upon that. You can find the V out by V in in this diagram, then input resistance because it is an ideal operational amplifier. So, what is the input resistance up to this point? You have to find what is the input resistance seen by the V in. Feedback mechanism because it is an inverting operational amplifier and V out by V in. So, what is this? So, this is the homework, it is a MSQ. And this is a very, very important diagram. Number of times we are getting answer, uh, question on this diagram. Okay. Please revise this. MSQ Diksha. Yes, Diksha, it is a MSQ. Yes, you can convert a star into delta. That is a, another approach to solve this question, or you can apply the KCL. You can apply the KCL at these two points. This is a homework and solve it and give me answer on my telegram channel. Then next is what a differential amplifier in operational amplifier. Second one is what differential amplifier within 10 minutes. We are going to revise it differential amplifier. Okay. On my telegram channel, I will check linear active devices, differential amplifier in differential amplifier. Always uh, quickly. So uh, I'm giving you the answer. Always remember, uh, you will get the V ADVD plus what ACVC. First basic thing, VD is called difference signal, VC is called common signal, common means average value. AD is called difference gain, AC is called common gain. This is unwanted term and that's why what is the ideal value of AC? Zero. And what is the practical value of AC? It should be as low as possible. And here we are having one factor that is called CMRR, common mode rejection ratio. That is the mod of AD by mod of AC. Positive value CMRR. Ideally, AC should be zero. CMRR should be infinite. And then in a dB, this is normally represented by what rho. So in a dB it will become 20 log of AD by AC. In a dB, what is the CMRR in dB? That is 20 log of AD minus 20 log of AC. 20 log of AD minus 20 log of AC. Otherwise, you have to divide it. These are the important formula related to what CMRR, common mode rejection ratio. Okay. So, it is a in the feedback mechanism is what uh, you have to check. It is an inverting operational amplifier. Voltage shunt feedback is there. Now, it is a differential amplifier. Which one is the most, uh, I, this, I think it is clear to you everyone CMRR, we can get one question on CMRR, a straightforward question on CMRR, one mark question or it may be two marks. Uh, what is the error in calculation? This is error. Actually, this is error. Sometimes they will ask what is the percentage error. To percentage error means what? Uh, simple percentage error. Because it is error. Wanted, unwanted term upon wanted term into 100 percent that is called error in particular question they will give you what value of ac they will give you the value of ad they will uh, vc you have to find common mode signal vd you have to find or ac by ad is nothing but 1 by cmrr remember 1 by cmrr you can use this formula for percentage error okay 
uh, right so this is the operational amplifier we are discussing guys we are discussing the operational amplifier now second one uh, when uh, when we are uh, when we are designing the differential amplifier by using op amp that is important diagram that is a very very important one what is the important here rf r1 rg r2 always just for example just i am changing a value this is the v1 and that is the this is called non inverting terminal voltage this is called inverting or, or voltage terminal rf r1 rg or r3 if it is given you have to check the balance bridge condition what is the condition that rf by r1 is equal to r3 by r2 always check this if the rf by r1 is equal to rg by r2 or r3 by r2 r3 by r2 if this condition is satisfied directly you can say ac0 cmr are infinite ideal condition and the output up will become ad non inverting terminal minus inverting terminal voltage output voltage will become v1 minus v2 multiplied with the ad and ad is nothing but rf by r1 rf by r1 v1 minus v2 is it clear tell me this is clear to you everyone so this is the first one directly you can find v out is equal to ad v1 minus v2 or rf by r1 v1 minus v2 that is the v out so v1 minus v2 and you can find the value if this condition is satisfied if this condition is not satisfied if rf by r1 is not equal to r3 by r2 then guys remember you have to use this formula to find the v out which formula first of all write down the gain of non inverting 1 plus rf by r1 this is the gain of the non inverting operational amplifier 1 plus rf by r1 voltage at this point vp and what is the voltage at this point use the voltage division rule r3 upon r2 plus r3 into v1 that is the value of the vp r3 upon r2 plus r3 times of vp uh, that is a v1 because it is a vp minus what is the gain for the no inverting operational amplifier rf by r1 into v2 rf by r1 into v2 you have to use this formula you have to use this formula if the condition is not satisfied then in that case sir ac is v1 plus v2 by 2 na no? yes ac is the v1 plus v2 by 2 so what i have written yes no 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 ac is not v1 plus v2 by 2 ac is the common mode gain vc is v1 plus v2 by 2 vc is v1 plus v2 by 2 ac is the common mode gain so that is the case this is how we can find the ac or vc i am i'm going to give you the answer so this is the output now in this output when we are writing the second type of output 1 plus r by r1 remember i am going to give you the very very important formula about the differential amplifier r3 upon r2 plus r3 v1 minus r f by r1 into v2 that is the formula for example okay now if this is the formula then you can compare it with v out is equal to a1 v1 plus what a2 v2 v1 is the non inverting terminal voltage v2 is the inverting terminal voltage then you can find the a1 and a2 from that a1 is this one is a1 this complete up to this point it is a1 and this is a2 with negative sign it is a2 so you can find the value of a1 and a2 a2 will be negative then you can find what ad and ac you can find the ad and what ac guys now from that ac means what a1 plus a2 and ad is a1 minus a2 by 2 once you have the value of ad once you have the value of ac then you can find what cmr are finished so almost all the questions we have covered from this topic 
so in my sessions already i have given yes is there is any doubt is there is any doubt in this so guys this is the differential amplifier already please revise all this formula first of all always check this condition right normally we are uh, uh, it, uh, it will satisfy this condition then if it is not satisfied then directly use this formula if the cmrr is asked or what ad is asked or with ac is asked always remember this is a1 this is a2 and then use this formula to find the ad and ac and cmrr okay cmrr now if you have the idea about that yes then this is called these all are the formula here this is the pdfs are available half of a1 minus a2 a1 plus a2 right common board rejection ratio this is called figure of merit of the differential amplifier then second one is what instrumentation amplifier we are getting instrumentation koi hai kya instrumentation branch se anyone from instrumentation branch or how many students are giving get with the instrumentation branch because now we can attempt with the two papers so how many students are giving with the two pay, uh, two bra two papers tell me instrumentation only ec e branch okay now no problem we are getting question from that it is a instrumentation amplifier so this is the connection guys it is r4 r3 r3 r1 r2 this is the differential amplifier here we are connecting the two non inverting operational amplifier 1 2 right and remember guys uh, this is a non inverting terminal voltage always remember this is the plus this is the non inverting terminal if this is v2 is connected here v1 is connected here then what will be the gain that this ratio is satisfied r2 by r1 is equal to r2 by r1 so gain will become r2 by r1 into 1 plus Two times of R three, these two R three are same upon R four into what non-inverting terminal voltage minus inverting terminal voltage. So directly you can use this formula, right? So you can find the voltage gain. Otherwise, if it is not possible to recall, then use this simple formula. Use this simple one. Always use this, na? Otherwise, you will make a mistake here. This is that uh, you can say. So, this is the V not one. This is V not two. Ideal operational amplifier. Then what will be the current zero? Current enter into the operational amplifier is zero. Same current will flow from this point to this point. You can write the V not one minus V not two is equal to V not one minus V not two is equal to I times of Two times of R three plus R four. I multiplied with the R three, R four, and R three. Two times of R three plus R four. This is the V not one minus V not two. Okay. Second thing, because of virtual sort concept, this voltage is V one, V one, V one, V one. V P one is equal to V N one. Then this is the V two, V two, V two. This voltage is V two. Then you can find the I. What is the I? V one minus V two upon R four. V1 minus V2 upon R4. That is the value of I. V1 minus V2 upon R4. You can put the value of I there. Then check this condition. R2 by R1 is R2 by R1. This ratio is satisfied for this operational amplifier. What is the output? Output will become R2 by R1. R2 by R1 into non-inverting terminal voltage. Minus inverting terminal voltage. Non-inverting terminal voltage is V not two. Inverting is V not one. Now you can change this, change this, and put the value. You will get this answer. You will get this answer. No need to mug up. No need to mug up this. Okay. So yes, yes, yes. Why not? Why not, guys? This is a common subject. Already we have question on that in electronics branch. If you want to practice some more question, then yes, you can solve some questions from instrumentation branch also. Analog is common, na? No? I think this is clear to you. Please get the idea and try to solve this and verify this equation. Once you are able to prove this, you can solve this question. Instrumentation amplifier.
now tell me what is the answer for this everyone tell me what is the answer for this question what is the answer for this one if the differential amplifier voltage gain and common mode voltage gain one mark question mcq san srinath you have given the 46 all other students what is the answer ashok you are giving a Yes, yes. Now, Ashok, you are doing a silly mistake. Just you are dividing forty-eight by two, but it is in dB. It is in what dB? So, what is in dB? Subtraction. Forty-eight minus two. Viksha, what you are doing? How you are going to get the twenty-five dB? Meghna, how you are going to get the B answer? हाँ माइनस होता है डीबी में करेक्ट वन इज ए यू आर गिविंग नो 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 देखो इफ इट इज इन डीबी ऑलरेडी आई हैव ना ट्वेंटी लॉग ऑफ ए डी माइनस ट्वेंटी लॉग ऑफ ए सी तो ऑलरेडी इट इज इन डीबी तो फोर्टी एट माइनस टू दैट इज व्हाट फोर्टी सिक्स डीबी तो विच आंसर इज करेक्ट दिस वन बट नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट वॉट दे आर डूइंग दे आर जस्ट डिवाइडिंग That will become what twenty uh, four dB. No, okay. So C is the correct answer. That is, we are making silly mistakes. That's why I have given this question, one mark question. Or uh, sometimes the uh, just quick revision. This is the difference because it is a very very important topic. Always check this ratio. If the op amp in the figure is ideal, the output voltage V out will be equal to. So check this ratio, R F. R one, five by one, R three, R two, eight by one not equal. If not equal, then you have to write the complete formula for this. Complete formula for this guys. If this condition is not satisfied, then what is the formula already I have given? Directly you can write guys. V out is equal to one plus R F by R one. This is the R F by R one. Into voltage division rule R three upon R two plus R three into non-inverting terminal voltage three volt V one minus R F by R one into inverting terminal voltage V two. Now in exam I, I will use direct formula V naught is equal to one plus R F five by one into R three eight by eight plus one. Into V one three minus five by one into what two? Now solve it. You will get the six volt as answer. We are getting six volt or fourteen volt. Tell me. So that is a. ha huh. this is we are getting the 6 volt this is the answer so okay i think now you are comfortable with the differential amplifier next topic next one do you want any homework guys any homework try to solve this question msq Ah, by KCL you get six volt again. That is correct. Okay. Try to solve this question. 
होमवर्क है ये एम एस क्यू है ना ध्यान रखना दिस इज एम एस क्यू दिस इज ऑल्सो होमवर्क टू क्वेश्चन एज ए होमवर्क एम एस क्यू प्लीज गिव मी आंसर ऑन माई टेलीग्राम चैनल दैट इज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स बाय संजय राठी ट्राई टू सॉल्व दीज टू क्वेश्चन दीज आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन यू विल गेट द कमांड ओवर द डिफरेंशियल एम्पलीफायर दैन नाउ नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज वॉट वी आर एंटरिंग इन टू द फिल्टर्स तो रिमेंबर देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ फिल्टर्स लीनियर वेव शेपिंग सर्किट इज कॉल्ड हाई पास आर सी सर्किट एंड लो पास आर सी सर्किट ओके हाई पास आर सी सर्किट मीन्स दिस इज अल मी ऑन द स्क्रीन इट इज अई पास फिल्टर और लो पास फिल्टर एवरी वन आस्क यूर फ्रेंड्स टू ज्वाइन द सेशन बिकॉज नॉट दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड जनरल टॉपिक फॉर ऑल द ब्रांच दिस इज अ हाई पास आर सी सर्किट वी आर गेटिंग आउटपुट हियर दिस इज द सी दिस इज द आर इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज लीडिंग सर्किट एंड दिस इज द हाई पास आर सी सर्किट नो 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 ट्वेंटी लॉग ऑफ दैट if you want to convert into then 20 log of that for power gain what we are doing we are using the 10 log of ap okay power gain we are using the 10 log of ap so this is a high pass filter now second one once you have when we are changing the value of uh, that this is called what low pass filter r and c that was the high pass filter that is the low pass filter i just change the position of the c and r that is called low pass filter right then this is what these all are what passive filters to so in a passive filter there is a problem of what loading effect to avoid the problem of the loading effect what we are doing just we are connecting a voltage follower circuit in front of that and that is called first order high pass butterworth filter so always remember this is a high pass filter and this is a non inverting operational amplifier with rf is equal to or zero and that's why its gain will become 1 plus rf by r1 that is equal to what one this is called voltage follower voltage follower is nothing but non inverting operational amplifier and this is a high pass filter followed by the voltage follower that is called active filter that is called what active filter so what will be the question here they will ask very simple question what is the cut off frequency for that to so cut off frequency fc that is what omega c by 2 pi that is equal to 1 by 2 pi rc 1 by 2 pi r and c this one right that is called the cut off frequency and remember it is a leading circuit it is a what a leading circuit now it is a high pass filter then this is a low pass filter simply watch this this is a low pass filter followed by the voltage follower again the cut off frequency is 1 by 2 pi rc same 1 by 2 pi rc this is a active filter so they will ask name now we are using the second order butterworth filter so directly cut off frequency first of all remember that cut off frequency formula cr watch this so this is a high pass filter cr cr high pass filter then cut off frequency they will ask fc is equal to 1 by 2 pi root over r1 r2 c1 c2 this is called the cut off frequency r1 r2 c1 c2 if r and c r and c are equal if these all r r r equal c c r equal then again the cut off frequency will become 1 by 2 pi rc second most important thing at which frequency we are going to get the highest gain tell me it is a second order high pass butterworth filter at which frequency we will get the highest gain in this case at omega equal to infinity or omega equal to 0 tell me Which answer is correct? Everyone, give me the answer A or B. At which frequency we are going to get the maximum gain? Just I am going to give you the hint. The impedance because of the jet C is given by one by omega C. One by omega C. Omega equal to zero. We are getting the highest gain. It is a high pass filter. 
तो हाई पास फिल्टर हाई पास फिल्टर मीन्स इट विल पास द हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी सिग्नल वेन इट विल पास द हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी सिग्नल इट विल ब्लॉक द लो फ्रीक्वेंसी तो एट अ लो फ्रीक्वेंसी गेन इज जीरो एट अ हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी वॉट विल हैपन वेन ओमेगा इज इन्फिनिटी जेट सी इज जीरो रिमेंबर वेन ओमेगा इज इन्फिनिटी जेट सी इज जीरो तो दिस कैपेसिटर विल एक्ट एज वट शॉर्ट सर्किट वेन दिस कैपेसिटर विल एक्ट एज शॉर्ट सर्किट एट इन्फिनिटी देन वॉच दिस वॉच दिस डायग्राम वेरी वेरी इजी वन ना At infinity, when this capacitor will act as short circuit, what is the voltage at this point V in? It is converted into non-inverting operational amplifier, and what will be the V out? One plus R F by R one into V in. So, what is the highest gain? One plus R F by R one. One plus R F by R one. That is called the highest gain of the system at infinity. Is it clear? Now, exactly at zero, what will happen? Exactly at zero, what is the jet C? Infinite capacitor acts as open circuit. When it is open circuit, it will not allow the signal. Signal will not pass. Output will be zero. Output will be zero, and it is a high pass filter. It will pass the high frequency signal. Very good afternoon, Chinmay. How are you? Now, very good afternoon, everyone. Two hours. It is over. Tell me, guys, are you enjoying the session, everyone? How is the jos? थोड़ा सा यार, थोड़ा सा आग लगा दो आप लोग. लग रहा है कुछ चल रहा है. चलो दो घंटे में हम लोगों ने कुछ तो revise किया. Are you getting new points? We are having some means, uh, some we are doing silly mistakes or some wrong concepts are there. So just this is a quick revision. Already we have revised the FET. So new students. PDF will be available on my Telegram channel, but it will be password protected. At the end, I will give you the password. And second important thing, uh, we are covering all the important topics. So first of all, watch this session and then go through the PDF. PDF will work like what short notes. Joe says hi. अच्छा बहुत बढ़िया. हाँ लगा दिया आप लोगों ने तो. तो चलो अच्छा है. खुश रहिए. Don't worry about the results. That is very important thing. ओके देन सेकेंड ऑर्डर हाई पास बटरवर्ड फिल्टर अब आते हैं नेक्स्ट टॉपिक पर चलो देखें जरा क्या है दिस इज अ हाई पास फिल्टर सिमिलरली चेंज द पोजीशन ऑफ द कैपेसिटर कैपेसिटर इज रिप्लेस बाय रजिस्टर रजिस्टर इज रिप्लेस बाय द कैपेसिटर इट विल बिकम व्हाट लो पास फिल्टर सेकेंड ऑर्डर लो पास फिल्टर राइट सर क्विज क्वेश्चन आर प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन नो 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 क्विज क्वेश्चन आर दे आर डिजाइनिंग न्यू क्वेश्चन right some new questions are there i think you have uh, you have attended the uh, quiz question previous uh, for digital yesterday okay then now if suppose you want to design what uh, band pass filter so what is a band pass filter Band pass filter is nothing but what high pass filter for uh, followed by low pass filter. High pass filter followed by low pass filter that is called what band pass filter. Like this. So this is the high pass filter. it has the cut off frequency fn and this is the low pass filter it has the cut off frequency fh this is the low pass filter at higher frequency side it is a low pass filter at lower frequency side it is behave like what high pass filter and that's why high pass filter has the cut off frequency fn and it has the cut off frequency fh for lower low pass filter the cut off frequency is high and that is the case and it is a normally it is called series connection but actually it is a cascading when the output of one will become input for the other then it is called what cascading wo network mein aayega so rlc series rlc circuit is what uh, you are uh, watching na that series rlc circuit we are having the different types of filter so that will be discussed in network for example this is the register 
this is inductor this is capacitor tell me which filter everyone tell me which filter high pass or low pass when we are giving the input here we are getting the output across the capacitor which filter now we are getting output across the inductor which filter that is the a second and then third one this one fourth one so there are four different cases hmm so this is a network guys first one is low pass filter because when we are getting the output across the capacitor inductor is connected here exactly at zero frequency inductor will act as short circuit capacitor will act as open circuit so it will pass the low frequency exactly at infinite in inductor will act as open circuit capacitor will act as what short circuit that's why output zero to low pass filter second one is a high pass filter second one is a high pass filter you can verify at omega equal to zero omega equal to infinite what is the position of the inductor at omega equal to zero short circuit and what about the position of the capacitor capacitor will act as open circuit and that's why output is zero it will block the output and that's why and at high frequency inductor will act as open circuit capacitor will act as short circuit output exactly replica of the input and that's why it is a high pass filter similarly you can verify it then this is exactly at resonance what is the resistor and inductor exactly at resonance the series combination of inductor and capacitor act as what short circuit short circuit and that's why output is exactly replica of the input so it is a band pass filter it is a band pass filter or exactly at resonance the resistor inductor and capacitor series combination will act as what short circuit when it will act as short circuit output will become zero so it is what band reject filter last one is band reject filter resonance current is not zero at a resonance current is maximum it is a series resonance mansi mansavi series resonance na in resonance uh, what is the impedance guys impedance is minimum at series resonance and that's why what will be the current current will be maximum that is the current this is the resonance frequency yeah this is the maximum current okay so that is the case but remember series resonance means what this will act as short circuit that's why it is a band pass filter exactly at resonance it will pass the signal this type of shape we are getting this is a band pass filter or exactly at resonance it will act as short circuit that's why we are getting this type of shape this is called notch filter or band reject filter notch filter or band reject filter is it clear everyone so that is the part of what network passive filters now so how we can design the band stop filter when the high pass filter and low pass filter are connected in parallel this is called band stop filter so what will be the question if the cut off frequency of high pass filter is f2 cut off frequency of low pass filter is f1 what is the relation between f1 and f2 everyone tell me which answer is correct a b c which answer is correct f2 equal to f1 f2 greater than f1 f2 less than f1 these are connected in parallel and it is a band stop filter band stop filter tell me
B for Bombay. Yes. This is the cutoff frequency for low pass filter and that is the cutoff frequency for high pass filter. This is the high pass filter. And this is the low pass filter. They are connected in series. So F2 is greater than F1. This is the band stop filter. Okay. So parallel connection, remember. Parallel connection. Band stop filter, band eject filter. Now, last one is what? We are getting question on all pass filter, guys. Remember, in all pass filter, it will allow all the frequency without amplification or without attenuation. Rx, Rx, R and C. This is the R, this is the C. So, what will be the question here? Question is, what is the range of the phase shift here? So, it will provide you the phase shift from 0 to what? 180 degree. 0 to 180 degree. That is the case. Rx, Rx and what is the gain? Magnitude of the gain is always 1. Magnitude of the gain is always 1. Remember that. And the general formula for the phase shift 180 minus 2 times of 10 inverse. What was the formula? Any idea? Omega RC? Yes. So check my formula. So, but at omega equal to 0, 180 degree phase shift at omega equal to infinite, it will become what 0. So, what is the range? 0 to infinity. But suppose you are going to change the position of C and R. If you are going to change the position of C and R, then the phase shift is different. What is the phase shift then? For example, this one, this diagram. That is this type of questions we are getting. Consider the op amp shown in the figure. If Vi is V1 sin omega t, V0 is V2 sin of omega t plus phi, there is a change in the phase phi. Then the minimum and maximum value of the phi are respectively. This is also all pass filter. Then tell me what is the minimum and maximum value of the phi? Tell me which answer is correct. Yes, 180 minus 10 inverse of omega r. See na? 210 inverse, not 110 inverse, 210 inverse, that is correct. Two ten, I have used now 210, two times of 10 inverse. One minute, one minute, one minute. Where is the formula? Ah, this is correct. This one is correct. Which answer is correct? So, but we have changed the position of R and C. So we are getting the negative phase shift. So for negative phase shift, the phase shift is only minus 210 inverse omega r. So you have the range 0 and what minus pi? So minus pi to 0. Minimum value is my, uh, minus pi and maximum value is 0. Minimum value is minus pi, maximum value is 0. Remember, in number of sessions already I have given. So this is a all pass filter. This is a quick revision. Now, Please revise all the filters, guys. Revise all the filters. Okay. Then another one is another, another topic is what? If you find any difficulty, we will solve more question on that. Minus pi to 0, that is the answer. C is the answer. Yes, you have Bhanu Prakash, you have Chinmay, you have given the right answer. Right. Okay. Now, voltage to current converter with grounded load. There is a current converter. This is another important topic to quickly get the idea. Voltage to current converter, we are connecting the voltage source and what is the value of I0. In this type of questions, always check the ratio. Ratio means Rf by R1, Rp by R2. Always check this Rf by R1 is equal to what Rp by R2. This is called balance based condition Rp by R2. If this condition is satisfied, then what is the I0? I0 is given by Vs upon R2. I0 is given by Vs upon R2. Finished. Question finished. Vs upon R2. That is the voltage to. This is a very standard diagram. They will ask. Always check the condition and then you can give Vs by R2. But remember, if this Vs is connected to inverting terminal, it is connected to non-inverting terminal. If the Vs is connected to inverting terminal and that is grounded, Again, you have to check the same, but if it is connected to inverting terminal, 
then I naught will become minus V S by R two. That is a slight change. If it is connected to non-inverting terminal, then V S by R two connected to inverting, then minus V S by R two. R two will remain same. You have to check the ratio. This is called voltage to current converter. And what is the meaning of the voltage to current converter? The current should be independent of load. Here we are getting the V S by R two. The current through the R L is independent of the load. Then it is called voltage to current converter. Okay, so that is another one. Then this is the question. This is the diagram. V S V S is connected to non-inverting terminal. Check the ratio R F by R one, R P by R two. If it is equal, then you can write this current minus same value. Some students are using the R one. That is wrong. Minus V S by R two only. You have to put the negative sign only. Negative sign here. Okay. Then, so we uh, we are getting this type of questions, guys. now now tell me up to this point any doubt i not vs by r2 inverting terminal i not vs minus vs by r2 current yes voltage to current converter You have given the right answer. So V S by R two, please uh, take care of that. V S by R two. Second one is what? Uh, uh, in a, we are getting what some questions on bias input bias current, but this is important for what instrumentation branch. But we can expect one or more question on that. For example, what will happen? We are giving some biasing current before using the operational amplifier. So there are some terminology like uh, input bias current, input offset current, and input offset voltages. What is the input offset current, input offset voltages? So sir, simple, get the idea about that. Uh, actually, uh, when we are uh, purchasing operational amplifier, that is not balanced, guys. This is not balanced. So just get the idea about that, and quickly you will get the idea. Initially, it is not balanced. not balanced means what when we are passing when we are connecting the two terminal to the ground we are we should get the ideal value zero but we are not getting zero we are not getting zero it is non zero value both the terminals are connected to ground again we are not getting the zero value that is called unbalanced operational amplifier unbalanced operation jaswant kumar why you are giving the vs by r1 No, 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 no. V S by R two will will be the answer, not V S by R one. Okay, in that question, that answer will be V S by R two only. No spam. Okay, for example, that is the question. Everyone, tell me what is the answer for this one? This is R two. This is R two. Tell me what is the answer for this one? कल जल्दी बता दो क्या है आंसर? बोलो जरा क्या होगा? ओके सम स्टूडेंट्स आर गिविंग बी सम आर गिविंग डी देखो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल चेक द कंडीशन आर एफ बाई आर वन इज इक्वल टू आर पी बाई आर टू कंडीशन इज सेटिस्फाइड वन बाई वन वन बाई वन वॉट विल बी द आंसर माइनस वी एस बाई आर टू 
माइनस वी एस टेन आर टू वन माइनस टेन सपोज इट इज गिवन टेन किलो फाइव किलो फाइव किलो और टू किलो टू किलो इट इज गिवन अगेन वॉट इज टू डिवाइडेड बाई टू वन वन डिवाइडेड बाई वन वन अगेन वॉट विल बी द आंसर माइनस टेन विल एंपियर बिकॉज इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द आर टू इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द आर टू ओनली ओके नॉट डी हाउ यू आर गेटिंग द फिफ्टी मिली एम्पियर ठीक है चलेगा नॉट आर एल नो नीड टू यूज द आर एल दिस इज आर एल इट इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ आर एल इट इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ आर एल दैट्स वाइट इज कॉल्ड वोल्टेज टू करेंट कन्वर्टर ओके देन नाउ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द बायस करेंट तो एक्चुअली वेन वी बोथ द टर्मिनल्स आर कनेक्टेड टू ग्राउंड देन वी आर नॉट गेटिंग द आउटपुट जीरो वॉट वी आर डूइंग वी आर पासिंग द करेंट हियर separate currents we are passing ultimately we are setting some voltage here because there is a very very high input resistance ri when we are passing the different current through this there is a slight voltage we are going to develop here and finally it will become zero finally it will become zero so that separate currents ib1 and ib2 these are called bias current so average value of this is called bias current ib वट इज द आई बी एवरेज वैल्यू आई बी वन प्लस आई बी टू दैट इज वॉट टू तो दैट इज कॉल्ड बायस करेंट वॉट इज द ऑफसेट करेंट डिफरेंस ऑफ दिस डिफरेंस नॉ ऑफसेट करेंट इज वेरी वेरी स्मॉल आई आई यू इज वेरी वेरी लेस देन वॉट बेस करेंट बायस करेंट नॉर्मली दिस इज इन द रेंज ऑफ वॉट Uh, pico ampere and what nano ampere and so on so that is the case so please remember this this is the bias current why we are passing the current to just balance the operational amplifier otherwise open loop operational amplifier is not balanced now that's why uh, this is the diagram where it is given offset current is ib1 minus ib2 when the output operational amplifier is zero and bias current is the difference between that Average value of this, this one, I B one plus I B two by two separate current passing through these two terminals when op output is zero. Okay, so for example, this was the question. Tell me which answer is correct quickly. You can solve within uh, seconds. Twenty one mark question only. One mark question only. अरे अभी लंच टाइम हो गया क्या आप लोगों का डोंट लीव द क्लास आई विल गिव यू द ब्रेक 15 मिनट्स ब्रेक डोंट वरी फॉर ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर सोन इन द फिगर द बायस करेंट्स आर आई बी वन फोर फिफ्टी नाइनो एम्पियर आई बी टू थ्री फिफ्टी नाइनो एम्पियर द वैल्यूज ऑफ द इनपुट बायस करेंट एंड द इनपुट ऑफसेट करेंट्स आर इनपुट बायस करेंट मीन्स वॉट समीशन ऑफ दिस टू फोर फिफ्टी प्लस थ्री फिफ्टी अपॉन टू तो फोर फिफ्टी प्लस थ्री फिफ्टी एट हंड्रेड अपॉन टू तो एट हंड्रेड अपॉन टू इज वॉट फोर हंड्रेड नाइनो एम्पियर and the difference of these two is a input offset current so that is a 100 nano ampere so which answer is correct d for delhi d for delhi guys okay this is this type of questions now ab aate hain then second part the normally operational amplifier is what divided into two parts one is what op amp with negative feedback one is called op amp with what positive feedback guys and if you want to learn more topics then please inform me and just i am giving you the hint to revise what one is what integrator also we are getting normally questions from integrator by using the operation this is with the negative feedback only with the negative feedback this is the tell me negative uh, in, integrator is a high pass filter or low pass filter this is the integrator guys this is a integrator if suppose the cutoff if the cutoff frequency array integrator is a low pass filter if the cutoff frequency is asked if the cutoff frequency is asked always you can use what miller's theorem miller's theorem means you can break the capacitor always use this i am going to give you a very very important shortcut here if the cutoff frequency is asked then you can use this miller's theorem with capacitor 
use the miller's theorem and break this capacitor if the gain of the operational amplifier is given non zero value if it is given for example it is given 100 ya 49 or anything else then you can use here this is r you can break this capacitor capacitor will become c1 minus av here and this is minus this is plus and that is the value now tell me what is this this is nothing but a high pass filter eh, sorry low pass filter this is nothing but a low pass filter now if it is a low pass filter then what will be the cutoff frequency so for this you will write the cutoff frequency is RC but that is the wrong answer. What is the cutoff frequency will become 1 by 2 pi R C equivalent and what is the C equivalent C into 1 minus AV C into 1 minus AV and here you have to use the positive value uh, sorry negative value. When I am using the negative value the C equivalent will become C 1 minus of minus 49 it will become 50 times of C, 50 times of C and that is the use of what Miller's theorem guys, use of Miller's theorem, remember, one capacitor C into 1 minus AV, here it is the AV minus 1 upon AV into C, so they already that is the revision of the Miller's theorem with capacitor, to break the capacitor into two parts, one at the input, one at the output and then you can find the value. This is the low pass filter because it will allow the only the low frequency. Or oh, directly, directly uh, Rajesh, now exactly at a high frequency what will happen? The capacitor will act as what? Short circuit. You can verify it. Exactly at infinity, what is the impedance of the capacitor? What is the impedance of the capacitor? Zero. And that's why this capacitor will act as a short circuit. When this capacitor will act as short circuit, according to virtual cost software, this is zero, this is zero. So what will be the output? Zero, na? So that will allow what high frequency or low frequency? It will pass the high and low frequency, but it will block the what high frequency signal. Is it clear? Is it clear? Yes. That is the reason. That is the reason, guys. So, this is a very, very important one. So remember, this is an integrator. And with the Miller's theorem, you can find the value. Second, change the integrator. Just change the position of C and R. You can find what? Differentiator. This is the differentiator. Okay, or it acts like what low pass filter. It is a high pass filter, sorry. High pass filter. Now, in this case, if cutoff frequency is asked, I think we can assume this is a two marks question. If the cutoff frequency is asked, again guys, this time break the register here. Break the register here. What is the value of the register? It will reduce the value of the register because it is a var R minus AV. This RF, R is break here, R upon 1 minus AV, this is the C, this is the V. So, what is the cutoff frequency here? C, what is the cutoff frequency? 1 upon 2 pi R equivalent into C. What is the R equivalent here? R upon 1 minus AV. And that is very, very important one, guys. This is the minus, this is plus, and that is ground. When we are breaking the Miller's theorem, so there we are having a two register and what is the value of the register here? R A V upon A V minus 1. But what is the precaution here? A V. A V should be what? You have to choose the negative value. For example, in question it is given A V is equal to what? Uh, for 99. You have to use what? Minus 99 here. So minus minus it will become plus. Minus minus it will become plus and it will become R upon 100. R upon 100. Okay. Ha, that, that will provide you the Dega na question me Dega Akamsha. Uh, question me Dega Tabito. We have to solve. Asa Dega. Kesa hoga question me aapko batata. Aapko bolega ye diagram hai. 
इसकी निकालो कट ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी तो आपके नॉर्मली स्टूडेंट्स क्या लिखेंगे वन बाई टू बाई आर सी बट दैट इज रॉन्ग तो फिर व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ द ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर तो विद दी हेल्प ऑफ मिलर सूरम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ब्रेक दिस राइट तो इट इज अ प्रैक्टिकल ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर प्रैक्टिकल ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर ए वी इज गिवन नाइनटी नाइन वॉट इज द कट ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ब्रेक दिस एंड देन विद दी हेल्प ऑफ दिस फॉर्मुला फाइंड द कट ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी इज इट क्लियर फोर दैट इज द सी इन टू वन माइनस ए वी मीन्स वॉट हियर द वैल्यू ऑफ द रजिस्टेंस डिक्रीजेस दैट्स वाइट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड रजिस्टेंस डिवाइडर सर्किट दिस वन ओनली दिस पोर्सन इज रजिस्टेंस डिवाइडर सर्किट ये वैल्यू ऑफ द रजिस्टेंस डिक्रीजेस बट हियर द वैल्यू ऑफ द कैपेसिटर वॉट इंक्रीजेस हियर वैल्यू ऑफ द कैपेसिटर इंक्रीजेस बाई फैक्टर That's why it is called capacitor multiplier circuit. Capacitor multiplier circuit, resistor divided circuit, capacitor multiplier circuit. It is a differentiator. Uh, sorry, it is a integrator, and this is a differentiator. A differentiator. Okay. अभी तक यहाँ आप ये देखो कुछ नई चीज मिली यहाँ पे. Are you getting new thing here? अब लग रहा है आप लोग की स्ट्रेंथ कम हो रही है नीड ब्रेक्स टेन मिनट्स और अदरवाइज तो चलिए कुछ यहां तक रिवाइज करो और अब हम लोग स्टार्ट करेंगे विद बायस्टेबल मल्टी वाइब्रेटर बट आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू द टेन मिनट्स ब्रेक तो भाई आ जाना वापस फिफ्टीन मिनट्स ब्रेक है ना just after 15 minutes means from 1 pm we will continue on 1 pm join kijiye and we will continue with what of m by uh, wave form generators wave form generators quick revision of wave form generators then guys diode circuit that is also very very important one all the rectifiers clipper voltage regulator if you have any doubts then please ask okay to so, 15 minutes join karna aa jao 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 break mein jaiye okay then if you have any comments right right uh, and join my telegram channel that is electronics by sanjay rathi ye rahega abhi aapka yahi par hai ye bas main ise mute kar raha hu bas okay
Hello again. Please join the session now. <coughs> we are going to discuss some important questions and important theory on waveform generator and then diode, guys. Is it audible? Very good afternoon. Break over now, Sivani, all other students, Priya, then Asok. Now, so we have discussed what uh, FET and uh, biasing and stabilization of FET, and then we have discussed what uh, small signal model of FET and how to use the small signal model. And then, guys, uh, then second, uh, we have discussed operational amplifier, all the important applications of the operational amplifier. Then another one is what waveform generator. Another one is what waveform generator. So ask your friends to join the session now. Then what are the waveform generators we will discuss here. So first uh, remember when we are talking about the waveform generator, Bi-stable multivibrator, mono-stable multivibrator, or uh, stable multivibrator. We are getting question on these three multivibrator. Bi-stable, mono-stable, and what? A uh, stable multivibrator, guys. So what is the bi-stable, mono-stable, and a uh, stable? We will discuss. Uh, bi-stable means uh, uh, yes, we can get question on bi-stable also because one of the important topic of the bi-stable multivibrator is what symmet trigger circuit. Symmet trigger circuit. So bi-stable means. 0 to 1 trigger is required, 1 to 0 trigger is required. It is just like a flip flop. Flip flop is an example of bi-stable multivibrator, right? Uh, whether it is a SR, JK, or T flip flop, when we are giving the input, then there is a change. Without input, there is no change at the output. Both the states are stable, 0 is stable, 1 is stable. So this is a bi-stable multivibrator. Then mono-stable multivibrator means 0 to 1 trigger is required, 1 to 0 trigger is not required. Trigger, trigger means short duration pulse. This is called short duration pulse input and no trigger. Automatically it will switch from 1 to what? 0. So one state is stable, one is quasi stable and that's why it is called mono stable. What are the another name of mono stable multivibrator everyone? What are the another name of mono stable multivibrator? Then next one is 0 to 1, no trigger, 1 to 0, no trigger, no trigger, no trigger. So you all will get this type of waveform. This is a, another type of multivibrator and that is called what a stable multivibrator. A stable multivibrator. There is a free running multivibrator. No trigger is required here and we are getting a square wave. So it is a square wave generator. So free clock pulse, this is a no need to give any trigger. This is also called one shot. One mono stable is also called one shot. Univibrator. Univibrator. And this is a stable is also called square wave generator. Free running multivibrator. This is free running. Because no need to give any trigger, guys. Now, for exam point of view, which uh, please uh, join the session now, everyone. Okay. Now break over. I think you have joined my Telegram channel where I will upload the PDF. Okay then. Then free running multi vibrator okay square wave generator yes then uh, sometimes we are getting this type of questions for example this is a bi-stable multi vibrator simple thing bi-stable multi vibrator means uh, watch this this is the r1 this is the r2 this is the uh, remember but here the feedback is positive this is r1 and r2 the feedback is connected to positive terminal that's why when we are giving positive feedback, then we can design what multi vibrator, whether it is bi stable, mono stable, or 
Basketball multiwear homework done. Manju Agarwal. Okay, I will check. Then please upload that on my Telegram channel. So always remember, this is a there will be the positive feedback, and positive feedback will be dominant, and that's why it is a multivibrator. And we are having only the two output plus V set or minus V set. Positive terminal voltage is greater than negative terminal if it is a positive terminal voltage, and if it is a negative terminal voltage, output is plus V set. If the positive terminal is less than negative terminal, output is minus V set. And at the output, we are having the two levels only: plus V set or minus V set. A V set is the biasing voltage. For example, it is a 15 volt, or is minus 50 volt. Output will never exceed the biasing voltage. So, what is the highest positive value? 15. What is the lowest uh, value? Minus 15. And it will vary between plus 15 and minus 15 only. Right? That is the operational amplifier characteristics. when we are giving the positive feedback so first of all under ideal operational amplifier there will be question on what ideal comparator guys this is called ideal comparator remember this is a very very important topic in ideal comparator the gain of the operational amplifier is what infinite and that is the comparator that will compare the two signal vb and va when the vb is greater than va output is plus v set vb is less than va output is minus v set this is called ideal comparator for ideal comparator the characteristics is like this we are having only two levels when the vb is greater than va plus v set vb is less than va minus v set vb is the positive terminal voltage va is the negative terminal voltage and and that's why this ideal comparator can convert sinusoidal waveform or triangular waveform into what square wave into a square wave only this is our first one second one is what uh, we are getting for example uh, sometimes you have solved this question yes or no this is ideal comparator so everyone please join the session and uh, some students uh, give me quickly what is the answer for this one then means what when we are giving any input for example sinusoidal input 8 volt peak to peak it is given 8 volt peak to peak means it is a 4 sin omega t so what is the peak to peak value 8 volt this is the 4 volt 0 volt minus 4 volt it is a 8 volt is the peak to peak value so we are giving 8 volt sinusoidal signal without any dc component means its average value is zero positive area is exactly equal to negative area then what about the duty cycle of the output of the comparator then this type of questions we can expect it is a example of biasable multi vibrator and that reference voltage is set at 2 volt so when the input positive terminal voltage is greater than 2 volt output is plus 1 plus 1 means plus v set or uh, when the input terminal input voltage is less than reference minus v set so we can find the duty cycle so this type of questions we may expect in exam quickly solve this question this type of signal sinusoidal signal always set a reference level okay then and this is the 2 volt so what is the duty cycle guys these are called break points Oh, that is the reference 2 volt and what is the highest value 4 volt minus 4 volt now when the input signal this is the input signal it is less than 2 volt output is zero when it is greater than 1 1 means plus v set less than 2 volt zero and so on we are getting this type of waveform and that is the square pulse So when a square pulse means what sinusoidal waveform is converted into a square pulse? What do I know? Okay, Dinesh and everyone, very good afternoon. Now 
it is a square wave sinusoidal waveform is converted into a square wave with the help of bistable multivibrator how we can find the duty cycle duty cycle means this is called on period and this is called what off period so duty cycle is t on upon t on plus t off t on plus t off if it is normal, if it is you want in percentage, then multiply with it with what hundred percent. Okay, then in this question, how we can find? Remember, this is omega t. Then what this angle zero? This is pi, and this is two pi. In one cycle total, so this is theta. This is theta. What is the conduction angle phi? The when it is multiplied with the omega. Then it will become omega t on. So what is the duty cycle means? T on upon t. When we are multiplying omega t on upon omega t, so omega t is nothing but two pi. Omega t on is conduction angle. So it will become always remember conduction angle upon what total angle. Total angle is two pi. How we can find the conduction angle? You have to find the theta because phi is equal to pi minus 2 theta then this is a sinusoidal signal and what is this signal vi is equal to 4 sin of omega t so when the omega t equal to theta its value is 2 so how we can find you can write when omega t is theta vi is 2 and that's why it will become 2 is equal to 4 sin of theta what is the theta sin inverse of 2 by 4 that is 1 by 2 30 degree so what is the conduction angle 180 that is the pi means 180 minus 2 theta 2 into 30 120 degree and that's why the duty cycle will become 120 upon 2 pi means 360 so 120 divided by 360 means 1 by 3 1 by 3 is the duty cycle. So 1 by 3 is there is any answer? Yes, B. So sometimes we have to use what concept of trigono uh, that is sinusoidal signal. What is the meaning of the theta and how we can find the value of the theta t on and t off. No doubt this is the t on upon total t. When it is multiplied by the omega, it will become conduction angle and it is a total angle. I think that is clear to you. Duty cycle, everyone. So on symmetry gear, we are getting the question on duty cycle on square wave generator we are getting question on symmetry uh, duty cycle okay then the next one this is a question this type of questions then another example is what bi stable uh, bi stable is symmetry gear. what is the symmetry gear then one minute this is a symmetry gear okay you have idea about that you have idea about that symmetry gear means this is a standard diagram for symmetry gear basic diagram of symmetry gear here we are giving the vi vi is converted into a square wave whether it is a sinusoidal signal or triangular wave right it is converted into a square wave and here the what will be the question this is the vb this is the va First of all, they will ask about the threshold voltage, guys. So, as you know, the threshold voltage at this point, it is we can find what is the what are the values of the VB. That is the this is the plus V set, that is minus V set, and we are having two values that is called upper threshold. Upper threshold voltage is given by V set when it is positive into R2 upon R1 plus R2 quick revision guys Vr into R1 always remember this is called reference voltage into R1 upon R1 plus R2 this is called upper threshold and what is the lower threshold lower threshold level is given by
माइनस फर्स्ट दैट वे दे विल आस्क नॉर्मली दे आर आस्किंग व्हाट इज द अपर थ्रेश एंड व्हाट इज द लोअर थ्रेश एंड दैट इज द वैल्यू ओके नाउ अपर थ्रेश एंड लोअर थ्रेश होल्ड व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस ऑफ दीज टू दिस इज कॉल्ड हिस्टेरिस वोल्टेज वी यू टी एच अपर थ्रेश होल्ड माइनस वी एल टी एच लोअर थ्रेश होल्ड एंड रिमेंबर दिस इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ वी आर बिकॉज दिस इज दिस इज कैंसल आउट इट विल बिकम टू टाइम्स ऑफ वी सेट R1 वन अपॉन आर वन प्लस आर टू दैट इज कॉल्ड वॉट हिस्टेरिस वोल्टेज गाइज यू कैन फाइंड द हिस्टेरिस वोल्टेज वी एच अपर थ्रेश होल्ड माइनस लोअर थ्रेश होल्ड नाउ देर इज अ वन एंड अदर क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस डायग्राम दैट इज वॉट ट्रांसफर कर हाउ टू फाइंड द ट्रांसफर कर जस्ट वॉच दिस वंस यू हैव द आइडिया अबाउट द अपर थ्रेश होल्ड एंड लोअर थ्रेश होल्ड Clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction of loop? Hysteresis is loop in transfer curve, guys. Tell me. So you are having the upper threshold and lower threshold value. Right. For example, this is the upper threshold or lower threshold. Lower. This is upper. Upper threshold and lower threshold. then there is a one transfer curve v not versus vi now how we can draw the transfer curve here always remember on x axis there is a vi on y axis there is a v not when vi is highly negative when vi is highly negative then this is a negative terminal means definitely this negative terminal is less than positive terminal when the negative is less than positive output is plus v set initially the output is plus v set when vi is highly negative now when it is plus v set it is at upper threshold or when input increases first of all it will cross the lower threshold there is no change in the output but when it is cross the lower th upper threshold there is a change in the output and it will switch from plus v set to minus v set so that is called increasing journey okay first of all this is a very important diagram then second one decreasing journey means when it is highly positive highly positive means negative terminal is greater than positive terminal output is plus v a uh, minus v set because negative is less than positive minus v set then <coughs> during decreasing journey it will follow input will decrease when it will decrease first of all it will cross the lower upper threshold no change when it will cross the lower threshold there is a change in the output and we are getting this type of curve that is called hysteresis curve hysteresis loop and the difference between this is called hysteresis voltage okay that is clear to you everyone तो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन गाइज दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन हिस्टरिस इज वोल्टेज तो ये है और इट इज इन अ क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन फर्स्ट डायग्राम इट इज इन अ क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन तो वन क्वेश्चन ऑन दैट यस नाउ चलिए एक जल्दी से क्वेश्चन बताइए देन सभी आ जाएंगे बुला लीजिए सभी को Tell me what is the hysteresis voltage here?
चलिए टेल मी वॉट इज द आइडियल डायवर्स आर देयर दीज आर द आइडियल डायवर्स फाइंड वी एच फाइंड वी एच एवरी वन टेल मी क्या होगा आंसर बोलो जल्दी से और बोलिए भाई आज के फ्रेंड टू ज्वाइन द सेशन नाउ यस दैट इज द क्लॉक वाइज यू आर करेक्ट दिस इज अमेंट ट्रिगर सर्किट वी आर यूजिंग द डायोड सी डी वन एंड डी टू और दीज आर द आइडियल डायोड सप्लाई वोल्टेज इज प्लस टेन एंड माइनस टेन देर इज अ पॉजिटिव फीडबैक VI is connected to inverting terminal, and you have to find the hysteresis voltage. Hysteresis voltage VH. And what are the upper threshold and lower threshold? Two mark question. This is a two mark question. कोई दवाई आती है ना गोली पी लेकर पैकेट लाता था ना अंदर हाँ भाई हो गया वट इज द आंसर चलिए अब आ जाओ होप ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव ज्वाइन नाउ चलिए अब देखते हैं जरा
ओके रैन सॉरी फॉर डिले ओके चलो आ जाओ भाई अब सब ज्वाइन कर लीजिए नाउ हिस्टेरिस वोल्टेज मीन्स वेरी सिंपल वन दैट बोथ द डायोड्स आर आइडियल मीन्स वॉट दिस इज द टेन दिस इज दी बी देन यू कैन फाइंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेन इट इज अ पॉजिटिव वैल्यू दिस डी वन इज ऑन डी टू इज ऑफ तो वॉट इज द अपर थ्रेश होल्ड फाइव अपॉन फाइव प्लस टेन इंटू टेन इट विल बिकम फिफ्टी बाई फिफ्टीन टेन बाई थ्री राइट एंड वॉट इज द लोअर थ्रेश होल्ड वैन दिस इज माइनस टेन दिस डायोड इज ऑन दिस डायोड इज ऑन then it will become फाइव प्लस फाइव एंड दैट विल बिकम माइनस फाइव टेन बाई थ्री एंड माइनस फाइव वॉट इज द टेन बाई थ्री थ्री पॉइंट थ्री थ्री एंड वॉट इज द हिस्टोरिस इज वोल्टेज दैन द डिफरेंस ऑफ दिस टू तो डिफरेंस ऑफ दिस टू मीन्स थ्री पॉइंट थ्री थ्री माइनस ऑफ माइनस फाइव दैट विल बिकम एट पॉइंट थ्री थ्री This is the hysteresis voltage. Okay, is it clear, guys? Everyone, you got this answer. Five yes. Okay. Then. How you are going to get the thirteen point three three? Tell me. And one make now. How you are going to get the minus six and three point three three? It is a ten and ten and minus ten volt, not twelve. Ten minus ten volt. Okay, so that is an important question. Two more question now. Then. so uh, this type of questions we are expecting sometimes uh, there is a one another diagram on that this is a way, another cement trigger circuit then after that we will start what another topic okay so that is a diode very very important one i am going to cover just all the important topics then watch this one this one figure shows a cement trigger circuit in figure so that is a in this uh, what is the difference between the first diagram and that diagram in the previous diagram we have given input to what inverting terminal here we are giving input to what non inverting terminal and that's why we are getting anti clockwise rotation in anti clockwise rotation and what are the uh, threshold voltage for that diagram so this type of diagram in this type of questions remember how we can solve this one just watch this if the input is given to another important diagram i'm going to cover all type of questions with jena diodes and so on if the input is given to non inverting terminal this is r2 that this is r1 this is positive this is negative and that is connected to ground or any another voltage is connected va this is the v0 then guys what is the value of the upper threshold and lower threshold how we can find then remember find the voltage at this point vb positive terminal voltage this is given by always remember v0 into r2 upon r1 plus r2 plus vi into r1 vi into r1 always multiply with this with r1 upon r1 plus r2 right what is the method here first of all find the positive terminal voltage or you can apply the kcl also vb minus vi upon r2 vb minus v0 upon r1 and arrange it and always remember what is the current enter zero then once you will get the value of vb equate it to what negative terminal voltage so that is the negative terminal voltage if it is va or 0 1 volt 2 volt minus 1 volt you can equate it to what negative terminal voltage now from this find the value of vi so vi will become if you want to find the value of vi you will get a general formula R1 plus R2 upon R1, R1 plus R2 upon R1, VA minus V0 R2 upon R1 plus R2. First of all, subtract it and then shift it. This is the VA. Now, this is the formula. Now you have the two values of V0. One is what plus V set. One is what minus V set. So when you will put my plus V set. You will get lower threshold. This is called lower threshold. 
आर वन प्लस आर टू अपॉन आर वन आई एम जस्ट गिविंग यू द जनरल फॉर्मूला माइनस वी सेट इन टू आर टू अपॉन आर वन प्लस आर टू दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द लोअर थ्रेश होल्ड नाउ वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द हायर थ्रेश होल्ड वैल्यू ऑफ द हायर थ्रेश होल्ड जस्ट पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ वी नॉट माइनस वी सेट माइनस माइनस इट विल बिकम प्लस वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द हायर थ्रेश होल्ड अपर थ्रेश होल्ड आर वन प्लस आर टू अपॉन आर वन इन टू वी ए माइनस माइनस प्लस आर वन प्लस आर टू ओके दीज आर अ वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्मूला गाइस नाउ इन अ पर्टिकुलर न्यूमेरिकल इफ वी ए इज जीरो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी ए इज जीरो वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द आर टू फाइव किलो वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ आर वन टेन किलो then what is the va zero if the va is zero you will get a very standard formula if va is zero this va is zero this va is zero then r1 plus r2 r1 plus r2 cancel then you will find upper threshold and lower threshold very very standard formula r2 by r1 which is r2 by r1 into v set This is called lower threshold, and what is the upper threshold? R two by R one into V set. But that is the situation when this is zero. When this is zero, V is zero, then you will get minus R two by R one into V set upon R. Second one is R two by R one into V set. Now, see how quickly you can solve this. Within seconds, you can solve this type of questions. For example, if in this question, upper threshold and lower threshold is required. it is a standard circuit va is zero directly you can write r2 by r1 into v set what is the r2 by r1 into v set 5 by 10 into what is the v set minus 10 minus minus 5 this is called lower threshold and r2 by r1 into v set plus 5 that is the upper threshold plus 5 and minus 5 finished lower threshold and upper threshold so if you have the idea about the standard answer then within seconds you can solve otherwise in gate exam you have to solve right remember is scribble pad it has limited space we can't do this stuff this much calculation there so remember so this is the standard circuit and this is the upper threshold and lower threshold and if you want the hysteresis voltage then subtraction of these two subtract it So V A V A will cancel out. V A V A will cancel out, and again you will get the hysteresis voltage two times of R two by R one into V set. Two times of R two by R one into V set. I'm just writing here. Two times of R two by R one into V set means hysteresis voltage is independent of this value. That may be the question. Hysteresis voltage is independent of what V A. And then, then second one. In a transfer curve, the rotation is always what anti-clockwise. This is remember. This is the transfer curve. This is upper threshold. That is the lower curve. Uh, lower threshold, and this you will get this type of transfer curve. For example, in this question, transfer curve like this. this is upper threshold right and like this is the lower threshold minus 5 plus 5 plus 5 okay now when the input is highly negative output is also highly negative why because input is connected to positive terminal so when it is negative it is negative this is less than 0 and that's why output is also negative Minus V set, or when input will cross the upper threshold, there is a change in the output. This is called increasing journey. Okay, now when input is highly positive, output is also positive. But when we are decreasing, what is the decreasing journey? This is the decreasing journey. 
इनपुट विल डिक्रीज वेन द इनपुट विल क्रॉस द लोअर थ्रेश होल्ड देर इज अ चेंज इन द आउटपुट वी आर गेटिंग दिस टाइप ऑफ लूप एंड दैट लूप इज कॉल्ड हिस्टेरिस लूप एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड ट्रांसफर कर वी नॉट वर्सेज वी आई एंड एंटी क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन एंटी क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन रोटेशन एंड दैट विल बी द क्वेश्चन गाइज दैट विल बी द क्वेश्चन ऑन सिमेट्रिगर सर्किट तो होप यू हैव एंजॉय दिस सिमेट्रिगर इज क्लियर दिस इज अ क्विक रिविजन यर बहुत सारे नंबर ऑफ सेशन आई हैव कवर्ड अभी तो क्विक रिविजन है यू कैन वॉच माई प्रीवियस सेशन ऑल्सो इफ यू फाइंड एनी डिफिकल्टी देन प्लीज इन्फॉर्म यू ऑन माई टेलीग्राम चैनल आई विल शेयर द लिंक विद यू वेर आई हैव एक्सप्लेन दिस Yes, symmetrical because it is a upper threshold and lower threshold are both are what positive. Upper threshold and lower threshold are equal, magnitude wise equal. Now this is about the symmetrical. Third one is a uh, second important thing is what we are getting a stable question on a stable multi vibrator that is also called free running multi vibrator or what uh, square wave generator. we have zero stable state both are quasi stable state without trigger it will switch from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 no need to apply any threshold level then then what free running which type of questions normally we are getting the step uh, this is a a stable multi vibrator this is also called relaxation oscillator if suppose it will generate what uh, sinusoidal signal those are called harmonic oscillator or sinusoidal oscillator other than sinusoidal signal for example square wave triangular wave this type of oscillator are called relaxation oscillator so this is r this is c this is r2 that is r1 or sometimes it is written r1 and r2 normally it is given or this type of diagram this is c this is r this is called a stable multi vibrator a stable multi vibrator guys now what will be the question on this first of all they will ask what is the time period what is the formula for the time period any idea Remember, this is the two times of R C log of one plus two R two by R one. Two times of R two by R one. That is the formula for time period. Formula for the time period of that. Now, because it will generate the square wave, and it will this diagram will generate what perfect square wave, symmetrical square wave. So here we you will get square wave. here you will get again square wave attenuated square wave or here you will get exponentially increasing and decreasing function like this at this point at this point you will get the approximate triangular wave at this point you will get the perfect square wave plus v set minus v set here you will get the attenuated square wave guys and the time period of the signal is 2 rc log of 1 plus 2 r2 by r1 and the frequency is reciprocal of that frequency is a reciprocal of this this is called what square wave generator or triangular wave generator is there is any doubt it is a quick revision guys you can uh, use it as a pdf as what short notes also to, to uh, download the pdf join my telegram channel that is electronics by sanjay rathi okay so that is a time period now So these are the waveform. Remember, exactly across the capacitor, you will get exponentially increasing and decreasing function. This is called V T. This is called minus V T. V T is just a threshold level. Suppose this is R two. This is R one. So V T will become R two by R one plus R two into V set. And minus V T will become minus R two by R one, R one plus R two into V set. So that is the value, upper threshold and lower threshold we can say, and that is the voltage across the capacitor will switch between these two values, or output will remain plus V set and minus V set plus V set and minus V set. 
okay in one of my session i have given you the derivation guys go through that because sometimes they may ask question they can connect a vr here connect a vr here or any voltage one volt for example then the upper threshold and lower threshold value will change and then you have to derive this formula you have to derive the on period and what off period for this one okay i will give you the one example also here now now this is the called relaxation oscillator then for example we can get the different uh, upper threshold and lower threshold voltage for this type of diagram for example that is the question a relaxation oscillator is made using op m as shown in the figure the supply voltage of the op m are plus minus 12 volt the voltage waveform at point p is supply voltage is plus 12 minus 12 already we have solved one question with the diodes d1 and d2 what are the voltages what are the upper threshold level and lower threshold level or we can say what are the voltages at this point you have to find now this is a relaxation oscillator it is a square wave generator there is a positive feedback and now we are having the two diodes d1 and d2 supply voltage is plus 12 and minus 12 this is 2 kilo ohm this is 10 kilo ohm this is 10 kilo ohm resistor already we have solved one question already we have solved one question so what are the threshold levels they are not equal what are the different vt1 and vt2 so guys remember these are the ideal diodes it is given then once it is a plus 12 d2 is on d1 is off once the d2 is on what is the current enter into the operational amplifier zero then what is the voltage at this point when the output is plus v set what is the positive terminal voltage vb1 the positive terminal voltage is given by 10 upon 10 plus 10 10 upon 10 plus 10 into 12 that will become 6 volt that will become what 6 volt second if the v0 is minus v set minus means d1 is on d2 is off you have to focus on this path only so 10 upon 10 plus 2 what is the value of the vb2 this is the negative value minus 12 output is minus 12 it will become 10 upon 10 plus 2 into minus 12 and that will become minus 10 volt so what about the upper uh, upper threshold 6 and what is the lower threshold minus 10 upper is 6 and minus 12 minus 10 not 2 minus 10 guys not 2 how we can divide we have to find the voltage across the 10 kilo ohm so according to voltage division rule it will become 10 upon 10 plus 2 so what is the voltage at this point minus 10 now that question is over and at this point we are getting the square wave square wave means what is the waveform at p it is the attenuated square wave its positive value is plus 6 and negative value is minus 10 we are running this type of waveform minus 10 and so on So what is the voltage? This is the 6, this is 0, this is minus 10 and this is the VP, attenuated square wave. Exactly at output we are getting the square wave but what is the magnitude plus 12 and minus 12, plus 12 and minus 12 guys. So this is the voltage, so this is the very very important diagram how we can, this is the question in electrical branch. You can watch this question, this is in a question from electrical branch guys you can watch okay now any other doubt on this any other doubt on this diagram they can ask what uh, uh, relaxation uh, uh, they can ask what what is the time period what is the frequency of the output and so on this type of questions we may expect on relaxation oscillator Triple five timer is uh, 
नॉट इन मतलब चलो मैं बता देता हूँ थोड़ा बहुत वी विल रिवाइज इट टू डायग्राम तो बिफोर एंट्रिंग इनटू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक रिमेंबर गाइस टेक अ स्टेप टुवर्ड सक्सेस इन गेट नेशनल स्कॉलरशिप टेस्ट इट इज अ गोल्डन अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर यू गेट अप टू नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ इफ यू आर एंजॉइंग द सेशन एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट योर प्रिपरेशन फॉर वट गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव और ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सिक्स दैन इट इज अ गोल्डन अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर यू नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ ऑन अवर प्रोग्राम दैट इज ऑन ऑफ फोर्टीन ऑफ जनवरी मकर संक्रांत पे है ना 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. means what? 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. means window will be open for 12 hours. कभी भी आप एक घंटे का duration निकालिए and you can give the mock test. Right from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. you can register here on Byju's exam prep app. First of all, install the Byju's exam prep app. Link is given in description. Now, second important thing: how to is get 2025 in first attempt? If it is your first attempt, you are in third year and second year and so on. then yes you can crack with top rank to so 10th of jan at 7:30 pm means i think tomorrow wednesday abhinav negi sir experienced faculty he will give you the idea and you can also ask your doubts guys okay you can ask your doubts abhi ye target set mat karo don't worry about the results we have to give our best 100 out of 100 we are just preparing for that it depends upon the level of paper also okay now second thing is what mono stable multivibrator normally we are not getting questions on that but uh, suppose we are connecting a diode here parallel to what capacitor then it is called mono stable multivibrator then mono stable multivibrator Uh, I expect one more, one question on that. Suppose it is one. We are giving uh, we, when we are giving the trigger, it will become zero, and again it will become one. So they can ask, what is the pulse width here? What is the pulse width? And the formula for that pulse width is given by R C log of R C log of one plus R two by R one. One plus this R two by R one. So you can recall this formula. What was the formula for? What was the formula for the time period in case of unstable multivibrator? Two R C log of one plus two R two by R one. Okay, that was the formula for the unstable multivibrator. So how many quasi stable state are stable? Two, but in mono stable only one quasi stable state. So remove these two. remove this two you will get this formula and that is called pulse width okay so this remove this two remove this two rc log of 1 plus r2 by r1 then normally what will happen these are given as rr and they will ask what is the pulse width so pulse width will become tp is equal to rc log of 1 plus r by r it will become rc log of 2 log 2 remember log 2 is 0.693 log 2 is 0.693 and that's why it will become 0.693 rc but that is a special case guys it is a special case when r1 and r2 are equal otherwise this is the general formula this is general formula this is a general formula you have to use the general formula here not the specific this is a specific when when r1 and r2 are equal So this is a monostable multivibrator. What is the difference between the unstable and monostable? In unstable, no need to give the trigger, but in monostable, we have to apply the trigger. Second thing, we are connecting one diode parallel to what capacitor? One diode connected parallel to what capacitor? It has two. One is a stable state. One is quasi stable state. In this way, you can solve this type of questions. Straight forward, they will ask about the pulse width. Okay then, this is a monostable multivibrator. Next important topic is what uh, triangular wave generator, guys. Okay, triangular wave. Up to this point, I think. Now R C log of yes, everyone recall this formula. Then triangular wave generator means this is a positive feedback is given. Watch this. 
this is a positive feedback and because of the positive feedback here we are having only two level plus v set and minus v set and that's why at this point we are getting a square wave so we know this is a square wave so we can say it is a square wave generator and this is a integrator a square wave generator followed by integrator what we are getting triangular wave so at this point we are getting a triangular wave like this so what will be the question here now this is the square wave generator remember operational amplifier 1 because there is a positive feedback and it is the integrator so it will convert it into triangular wave they will ask one question what is the role of this vs this vs is a dc voltage variable dc voltage remember variable dc voltage it is okay so how we can get the variable dc voltage at this point so remember sometimes they will give you this type of diagram this is integrator they will connect potentiometer like this this is 5 volt this is minus 5 volt right this type of diagram so variable dc we are getting this is a variable dc integrator this is if it is this is the given so what is the role of this vs it will control the slope of the triangular wave form slope means when we are having this is not triangular wave so we are having the three different cases here automatically you will get the idea what is the meaning of the slope here watch this diagram okay just you will you can solve question within seconds guys this is a short cut a short cut okay this is the levels there are three different cases upper amplitude and lower amplitude now watch this if you are getting the similar slope same slope increasing decreasing increasing decreasing it will take same time for increase journey decreasing journey we are having the increasing and decreasing slope both are equal then vs is zero then this vs is zero means for example this is minus 5 this is 5 it is connected in between so it is zero volt so it is we are getting the symmetrical triangular wave but suppose increasing journey is very fast decreasing journey is very slow fast very slow asymmetrical square wave increasing slope is very high decreasing slope is very low and means what vs is positive vs is greater than 0 means this arrow is connected towards 5 towards 5 so we are getting this type of waveform at the output and if the increasing it will take more time for decreasing it will take less time and so on means it is the vs is negative means it is towards minus 5 volt so slope slope is controlled by what vs that will be the question objective question that will be the question objective one so we are having the three different types of waveform here vs is equal to 0 vs is equal to greater than 0 vs less than 0 first thing second important thing what is the role of va here this va the role of va is to control the amplitude guys to control the amplitude amplitude means what are the amplitudes of the that value to so upper amplitude and lower amplitude vou and vol you can control the upper amplitude and lower amplitude that value is given right and what are the upper amplitude and lower amplitude just like that formula remember r2 by r1 plus r2 what was the formula that hmm this is r2 now you have to find the voltage at this point and then you have to equate it to what 
wm and then you can find the values here right just uh, uh, one minute I, I, I i'm going to give you the formula here yes that is the formula upper amplitude this one that is the value r1 upon r1 plus r2 upon r1 va plus r2 by r1 plus r2 into v z initially i have solved one question right initially i have uh, i have solved one question first of all find the voltage at this point and equate it to what va and then find the two levels of v0 for two different values of v0 dash what are the different values of v0 dash one is v set one is minus v set so plus v set and minus v set you will get the two value higher value will give you the upper uh, upper amplitude lower value will give you the lower amplitude just like a question we have solved v set with this is negative sign very very simple one right now we you can use the different values of va zero positive value negative value so when we are using the zero value upper amplitude and lower value amplitudes are equal so you can get the value r2 by r1 into v set and minus r2 by r1 into v set these are the cases when va is zero va is zero that so that is called what very very important one Suppose when we are increasing the VA positive value VA, so in both the cases we are going to add these two. So VA means that both upper amplitude and lower amplitude increases. So what is the swing? There is another question. What is the swing? Swing means upper amplitude minus lower amplitude. When we are finding the difference of these two, so VA VA will cancel out. R1 plus R2, R1 plus R2 will cancel out. You will get two times of R2 by R1 into V set. That is independent of VA. That is independent of VA. Two R2 by R1 into R1 by R2 into V set. That is what the swing. So they can uh, they will ask what what is the value of the swing and uh, then uh, these are the important parameters. Uh, right, guys. Please check that. Can you solve all these type of uh, this type of questions, everyone? Yes or no? Finally, what will be the question? Time period and frequency. That is very important one. Time period and frequency means time period. Remember for this one. Swing upon slope. Swing is already you have find swing two times of swing upon slope. Two times of swing upon slope time period. So it will become four times of R two by R one into V set. And what is the slope V set upon R three C? No need to find all this. Just remember the formula. So it will the time period will become four times of R two R three C upon R one. Right, four times of R two R three C upon R one. That is the time period. So they will ask what is the frequency of the signal F is equal to one by T. This is very very important one for symmetrical triangular wave guys. Okay, now you can find this value. So this is about the triangular wave generator. Triangular wave generator. So this is uh, all important formula I have discussed. If you want the PDF, then join my Telegram channel. Okay, then now another application of the operational amplifier is what. Uh, or we can say oscillators i am going to cover then oscillators 
then uh, diode circuits okay guys and in edc electronic devices and circuit uh, we have session on what uh, on 15th of jan please note the time second session please everyone please note that day 15th of jan just after makar sakran or i think that is on 15th of jan again there is a makar sakran 15th of jan we have 10 am to again 3 pm up to 4 pm 5 hours class on 5 to 6 hours class on what edc electronic devices and circuit how many students are interested electronic devices and circuit where i will give you the idea about the semiconductor physics and then we will discuss what uh, diodes and then we will discuss what pn junction especially mos capacitor mosfet special diodes and so on right so that is the formula yes vikram i am going to cover that so i think that this sessions all the series so what is your feedback about this series kya bolenge aap log iske bare mein sahi hai quick revision ke liye kafi tha kuch aap logo ne mistakes kiye ya ek hum log ye brush up kar rahe ye nahi ho sakta ki koi bolega sir 5 ghante mein pura analog cover kar lo na wo na zero se kaise cover hoga jinka ho chuka hai unka brush up kar rahe hain ya kuch problem hai ya koi mistake hai if you have any doubts related to formula or other things then just for quick revision we are using okay so i think i have given the uh, link for that our uh, okay oh. one minute ओके इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स बाय संजय राठी ना हाँ प्रिसीजन रेक्टिफायर आई विल एक्सप्लेन प्रिसीजन रेक्टिफायर विद रेक्टिफायर आई विल एक्सप्लेन द प्रिसीजन रेक्टिफायर ओके विद दैट आई विल एक्सप्लेन दैट अप टू दिस पॉइंट एनी अदर डाउट This is my Telegram channel link. Hmm. Now, uh, second one is what uh, uh, sinusoidal oscillators, guys. This is again a very important topic for all the electrical electronics student. Bar Hussein criteria, first of all. Bar Hussein criteria basically it is has the three. One is what two ideal condition. Third one is practical condition. when we are moving this is a bar hussein criteria any amplifier can be converted into oscillator this is a feedback here in op, uh, an amplifier we are using the negative feedback in amplifier we are using the negative feedback but amplifier can be converted into what oscillator when one signal is moving from this point to this point and again back to what this one the total phase shift should be multiple of 2 pi that is the 2n pi it may be 0 it may be 360 and so on so when it is passing through the basic amplifier return back through the feedback network then total phase shift should be multiple of 2 pi that is the first criteria okay second second criteria the magnitude of mod of a beta that should be equal to 1 finish right if suppose a network will provide 180 degree phase shift then beta network should also provide 180 degree phase shift so this is a criteria guys right now so you can convert an amplifier and practically what will happen practically the mod of a beta should be slightly greater than or equal to 1 should be slightly greater than 1 why because the complete system is what non linear and we have onset of non linearities and because of that we have internal losses to compensate this mod of a beta should be greater than or slightly greater than 1 then the amplitude of the oscillation is controlled by onset of non linearity present on the system 
this is an important one because of the nonlinearity we have to keep slightly greater than one to overcome the circuit's internal losses so this is called practical consideration for bar question criteria now guys we have the different types of oscillators remember they will ask what is the audio frequency oscillator normally in electrical branch we are getting question from wind bridge oscillator but audio frequency wind bridge oscillator rc phase shift oscillator rc phase shift oscillator by using op amp by using ft by using bjt <coughs> then radio frequency oscillator means frequency of oscillation greater than 20 kilohertz it is 20 to 20 kilohertz 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz partly culpit clap crystal partly culpit we are getting question from this and sometimes we are getting question from crystal oscillator but normally uh, clap oscillator we are getting question in engineering services examination so these are called high frequency oscillator these are the high frequency oscillator and that is the audio frequency oscillator radio frequency oscillator now uh, when we are talking about the rc phase shift oscillator guys first one this is the basic amplifier inverting operational amplifier it will give the 180 degree phase shift remaining 180 degree phase shift is given by rc phase shift network this is the high pass filter cr 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 we are connected approximately it will provide 60 60 60 60 plus 60 plus 60 180 degree phase shift feedback network will give 180 degree inverting op amp will give 180 what is the total 360 degree phase shift then 360 degree phase shift means 180 plus bar question criteria satisfied then what will be the question what is the frequency of oscillation and what is the condition for oscillation for this particular diagram the frequency of oscillation is given by this formula 1 by 2 pi rc root 6 please remember this formula but what is the precaution guys normally students are doing silly mistake what is asked omega if omega is asked in radian per second then it will become rc root 6 what is f naught omega naught by 2 pi if it is hertz then you you have to use this formula what is the condition for oscillation rf should be 29 times of r1 means rf by r1 should be equal to 29 or practically it should be slightly greater than 29 practically slightly greater than 29 so rf by r1 is equal to 29 that is the condition for oscillator yeah rf by r1 should be equal to 29 okay so that is called what uh, rc phase shift oscillator inverting op amp and that is the rc phase shift means it will provide the 180 degree phase shift right then next one you can design the same thing by using what FET also. So uh, normally they are not asking question on that FET. If more than 3 are and more than used then the formula will change. Yes. Then it is a standard circuit Vikram. It is a standard circuit. We have the derivation for that. If we are changing the value other than 3 R and 3 RC then we have to find the formula and we have to make the imaginary term equal to 0. Condition will change. Now similarly, here watch this, again RC, 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 3 RC circuits are used. In place of BJT, we are using the MOSFET, FET. And then it will provide 180 degree phase shift, it will provide 180 degree phase shift. What is the total phase shift? 360 degree. Everything is same, but remember in, K, in place of OPM, we are having the MOSFET. The frequency will remain same, condition will remain same, 1 by 2 pi RC root 6 and the gain of the FET should be equal to what 29. Gain is nothing but mu, amplification factor it should be greater than or equal to 29. That is called condition for oscillation in case of RC phase shift oscillator by using FET. So this is the same formula 1 by 2 pi RC root 6. So this is a formula based question you will get. And then sometimes we are getting by using BJT guys, this type of diagram, BJT, REC, RC phase shift oscillator by BJT. But what is the uh, different thing with BJT? BJT is a current control device and 
condition will be on what hfe hfe is the beta beta is the current gain what is the frequency of oscillation and what is the this is the rc this is the r and c then remember the frequency of oscillation is given by 1 by 2 pi rc root over 4k plus 6 not only root 6 k is rc by r rc by r this is important formula this is the rc by r frequency of oscillation 1 by 2 pi rc 4k plus 6 and what is the condition for oscillation guys condition for oscillation means what bjt is a current control device and that's why there will be there will be condition on what hfe beta so hfe or beta what is the condition here hfe should be equal to 4k plus 23 plus 29 by k this is an important formula where k is rc by r and if you want the minimum value of k then you have to differentiate with respect to k dhfe by dk equate it to 0 and you will get the value of k 2.7 put the 2.7 in this formula what is the hfe minimum 44.54 so in gate exam normally they are not asking the theoretical question but in msq multiple select question you can expect this what is the minimum value of hfe or minimum value of beta for transistor uh, act uh, sorry so that this bjt we can use the bjt in what rc phase shift oscillator that is 44.54 minimum value of hfe is 44.54 okay hfe is not high frequency hfe means what beta hfe is called beta okay HFE is the gain. One of our uh, H parameter, hybrid parameters, HI, input impedance, HR, reverse voltage gain, forward current gain. This is the forward current gain, H0, output admittance. This is for common emitter. This is for common emitter. That is called current gain. This is the uh, hybrid parameters actually. These are called hybrid parameters. Okay. Then, but the most important one is what wind bridge oscillator, guys. Normally, we are getting the question from the wind bridge oscillator. Then, watch this in a wind bridge oscillator, this one we are having a bridge, wind bridge as a feedback network. This is the operational amplifier output. We are sampling the output. Sometimes they can give this type of diagram. Watch this RF and R1, this point is connected to the negative terminal and RC in series and RC in parallel. Sometimes we are using like this R dash C dash. RC in series, R dash C dash in parallel and here we are having the feedback with positive terminal. So this is called wind bridge oscillator. We can change the diagram also. RF and R1 and middle point is connected to inverting terminal, RC in series, RC in parallel, middle point is connected to non-inverting terminal. So we can redraw the diagram. <coughs> this is the diagram. Okay. RC in series, R dash and C dash in parallel and it is connected to positive terminal, RF and R1 and middle point is connected to negative terminal. This is also a wind bridge oscillator. Right? Sometimes you will get this type of diagram, this type of diagram. Right, the like for example, this is the question. This is RF, this is R1. No, 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 that's a one minute, one minute. That is another thing. This is not a wind bridge oscillator. This is a wind bridge oscillator. Okay, now what is the important about that? What is the frequency of oscillation? Frequency of oscillation is given by R R dash R R dash C C dash. That is the important formula. Second, what is the condition for oscillation? In condition for oscillation, always write R F by R one. This is a very very important formula. Now, wind bridge condition R F by R one into R by R dash is equal to R by R dash 
and always remember c c is in opposite uh, behavior is opposite to that of what register c dash by c c dash by c that is called condition for oscillation very bridge here bio electrical with uh, two to three times same question what is the condition for oscillation and what is the frequency of oscillation so these are, these are the two formula for wind bridge oscillator it is audio frequency oscillator it is highly stable highly stable oscillator guys okay frequency stability is very very high so this is about the so how we can recall rf by r1 is equal to r by r dash and always remember c is opposite c dash by c c dash by c why because what is the impedance because of the resistor r what what is the impedance because of the capacitor 1 by omega c it is inversely proportional it is directly proportional to r it is inversely proportional to c that's why opposite c dash by c right so here frequency of oscillation now if r is equal to r dash if they are equal and c is equal to c dash they are also equal then guys then this what the frequency of oscillation will become 1 by 2 pi rc normally student are using this formula that is wrong it is with special condition r is equal to r s c is equal to c s and now if the r is equal to r s c is equal to c s then r f will become two times of r1 r f should be equal to two times of r1 or slightly greater than that so this is called what condition for oscillation but this is the condition when r is equal to r s c is equal to c otherwise this is the important this one is important So this is a wind bridge oscillator. Okay, tell me what will be the answer. Suppose this question is given. This is the wind bridge oscillation oscillator. Tell me what is the answer for this one. Everyone, watch it carefully and give me the answer. What is the answer? it is a question from electrical branch hai na ab yaad ho gaya condition yes in place of rf it is r3 is given r1 r4 is given in place of r r1 is given in place of r dash r2 is given now that is the change c is the answer okay so this is a question a straight forward question a number of times Question on same formula. No need to solve. Simple. You can solve all the previous year question. The basis of these two. Now, Hartley and Colpit oscillator, guys. Hartley and Colpit oscillator. First of all, remember, it is a radio frequency oscillator. and in a feedback path this is a rc phase shift oscillator rc phase uh, rc coupled circuit and here we are having the inductor l1 and l2 and then one if there are two inductor one capacitor in feedback path two inductor one capacitor this is called what uh, this is called what hartley oscillator and if we are having the two capacitor and one inductor for example here two capacitor and one inductor it is called pit so how we can recall it if there are two capacitor means which one is dominant capacitor is dominant so capacitor means what c so it will start with what c this is called tank circuit okay so this is a two capacitor one inductor so there is capacitor is dominant here in hartley which one is the dominant inductor two inductor one capacitor what is the unit of inductor henry So Hartley, H for Hartley. Okay, in this way we can't recall whether it is a Hartley or Colpit. But in a gate exam, in MSQ they may ask what is the name of that circuit, Hartley or Colpit. But most important is what frequency of oscillation. 
Now, when we are talking about the frequency of oscillation, it will become F naught is equal to root over L1 plus L2 into C. This is called frequency of oscillation. L1 plus L2 into C for Hartley oscillator. And Colpit oscillator 1 by 2 pi root over L C equivalent. C equivalent is C1, C2 upon C1 plus C2. C1, C2 upon C1 plus C2. So that is the important formula. Okay. So these are the important formula everyone. Now, Hartley and Colpit. So, by the time of the time, you have done lunch or not? Tell me. Have you done lunch or not? Have you done breakfast? Now, it is 2.30. Now, you have to give more than 7 hours. Up to 4 p.m. Now, the frequency of the frequency of the frequency of the थोड़ा सा एनालॉग है थोड़ा लेंदी है नो डाउट बट इट इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट बहुत सारा सिलेबस है यू हैव टू कवर देन कॉलपेट एंड हार्टले थर्ड वन इज वॉट वेन वी आर गिविंग द हाई लिप द फ्रीक्वेंसी स्टेबिलिटी इज वेरी वेरी हाई इन केस ऑफ वट क्रिस्टल ऑसिलेटर इन केस ऑफ क्रिस्टल ऑसिलेटर क्रिस्टल मीन्स इट वर्क ऑन पीजो इलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट we are using the quartz crystal here this is the anode that is the cathode right and we are having the quartz crystal it works on piezoelectric effect it is the equivalent circuit r l and c that is the c naught c naught is the parallel uh, capacitance between this anode and cathode and this is the r r represent viscous damping or internal losses l represent mass of the crystal c represent the stiffness right that is called 1 by spring constant, 1 by k, right? Then, then some, yes, Vikram, that is the, uh, yeh hai thoda sa, this is very, very important because if you have, one, there are two sessions, one is forenoon session, another one is afternoon session. So, if it is in afternoon session, then we have to, what, maintain that pace. So, yeh jitka bhi afternoon session hai, pura ajao, that is just for your practice, and give full length mock test. If it is in afternoon session, then give the full length mock test in afternoon. If it is forenoon, then give the full length mock test in what? Forenoon session. Now, this is the R, L and C, that is the crystal. Crystal oscillator, now what is the important formula here? Two things. There are two frequency. One is called parallel resonance and one is called series resonance frequency. Parallel resonance means when the impedance is maximum, this is the maximum impedance. A series resonance means when the impedance is minimum, this is the minimum impedance. So we are varying the frequency, we are getting the maximum resonance and minimum resonance, uh, maximum impedance and minimum impedance. And that is called two frequencies, series resonance and parallel resonance. You have to use this formula. 1 by 2 pi root over LC. This may be the question series resonance frequency. LC means this one LC. They will provide you the data for R, L and C and C naught. So what is the series resonance frequency when R, L, C are in series? 1 by 2 pi root over LC. And what is the parallel resonance frequency? 1 by 2 pi root over LC equivalent. And what is the C equivalent? C, C naught upon C plus C naught. C, C naught upon C plus C naught. What is the C naught here? C naught is the cap it's a capacitance between the plates. So C, C naught upon C naught plus C naught. That's why the C equivalent is this C equivalent is less than this C. And therefore, Fp is greater than what F? S. Parallel resonance frequency, series resonance frequency and frequency of oscillation will lie between these two. Always remember the frequency of oscillation will be between these two, series resonance and parallel resonance. That's why this is important. That's why this is important. RLC in series, no, RLC, no, 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 RLC not in parallel. Here parallel resonance means what? When the impedance is maximum. 
सीरीज रेजोनेंस मीन्स वॉट वेन द इम्पिडेंस इज मिनिमम इम्पिडेंस इज मिनिमम ओके और जस्ट वॉट वी आर डूइंग वी आर जस्ट टेकिंग इट एज अ ओपन सर्किट दैट फ्रीक्वेंसी इज वेरी लो एंड इट्स विल एक्ट एज ओपन सर्किट एंड दैट इज इन इन रेजोनेंस दैट इज इन रेजोनेंस वेन वी आर कंसिडरिंग इट देर इज चेंज इन द इम्पिडेंस नाउ Crystal highly stable. Remember, guys, we can't change the frequency of oscillation. This type of questions they will ask. Hope you have enjoyed the oscillator. Is it clear? We have solved all the questions on oscillators, guys. Now, this is time to start for diode or active diode circuits. So up to this point, new students, remember. uh we have discussed what we have discussed fet first of all biasing and stabilization and what uh, small signal model then we have discussed the operational amplifier inverting non inverting differential amplifier instrumentation amplifier voltage to current converter and what integrator differentiator how to find the cut off frequency for integrator and differentiator high pass filter low pass filter and guys uh, we have solved what questions on what uh, symmetry trigger circuit comparator then what square wave generator triangular wave generator and what now oscillators barkhausen criteria wind bridge oscillator and so on now guys it is time to start what diode circuit to everyone please share the link of this session first of all like the session if guys if you are enjoying the session then everyone like the session and stay tuned with us so subscribe the channel aapko maine bataya na pure 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 subject ko almost sab ka marathon session uh, session aane wala hai aur ek one shot mein aap pure formula ek bar revise karoge jo bhi aapko problem hai if you find any difficulty then give your feedback on our telegram channel we will uh, try to arrange session on that yes in a series resonance we are getting the impedance value low low impedance minimum impedance in parallel resonance we are getting maximum impedance a bjt we will do na bjt what type of bjt biasing and stabilization of bjt and model of bjt and in edc i will give you the detail idea about what bjt what is the bjt what are the characteristics of bjt in edc electronic devices and circuit okay now i'm going to start dekho diode circuit means what rectifiers half wave full wave rectifier with filters c filter l filter lc filter rlc filters tlc filter precision rectifier means what super diode half wave rectifier full wave rectifier these are the topics okay rectifiers then clipper clamper voltage regulator these are the topics and after that we will cover what bjt then first of all simple half wave rectifier you have idea about that half wave rectifier here we are using the transformer what is the use of the transformer step down the signal or step up the signal this is the sinusoidal after that we are getting the sinusoidal signal here we are normally using the vp here we are using the vm as amplitude what is the vp by vm this is the peak value on the primary side this is the peak value on the secondary side and that is given by n1 by n2 n1 by n2 n1 by n2 is the turn ratio And remember, normally V in we are getting the formula in terms of V in one. What is the V in V M sine omega t? V M sine omega t on the secondary side. Bidirectional waveform is converted into what unidirectional when we are passing through the half wave rectifier or full wave rectifier. So this is the bidirectional waveform. After passing through the half wave rectifier, it will become like this, and so on. plus plus this is called bidirectional is converted into uni directional wave form now this is a half wave rectifier then in case of half wave rectifier i will at the end i will give you the table but remember you have to find vdc that is called vm by pi and then vrms what is the vrms vm by 2 what is the form factor 
give me what is the value of the form factor what is the value of the ripple factor crest factor transformer utilization factor transfer curve right these are the important value vrms upon vdc this is the form factor ripple factor vac rms rms value of the ac component upon dc peak upon rms right and transformer utilization factor these are the important values 1.11 pi by 2 that is the uh, 1.11 is not the value 1.57 pi by 2 that is correct one ripple factor is 1.21 crest factor is 2 dc value is vm by pi that is the vm by 2 peak value is vm and that is the value okay Unidirectional waveform and for transformer utilization factor is point two eight six. Remember, ideal value of the form factor is what is the ideal value? Ideal value is one. Ripple factor zero. Crest factor should be equal to one. For rectifier, I am talking about the ideal value for rectifier. So ideal value of the form factor is one. For rectifier, ripple factor should be equal to zero. Crest factor should be equal to one. So you will get perfect DC signal. Ideally, you will get this type of DC signal. This is called ideal output because we want to convert the AC into DC. So what is the peak value VM? What is the RMS value VM? What is the DC value VM? So what is the AC component zero? And that is how we can get the ideal value for all this. These are called ideal values. One zero one half wave rectifier. So normally we are getting question on what half wave rectifier this. Half wave rectifier we are getting question. Tell me any doubt? मैं आपके comments देख रहा हूँ जल्दी से बोलिए फिर आगे बढ़ते हैं. Five hours done. Yes. Now, no, no. It is class starts from what ten fifteen. At three fifteen. But we will cover. Yes, please. Okay. So this is a ripple factor, form factor. Now, now we have uh, just that. What is the problem with that? Ripple factor is very high. Form factor is very high, and that's why we are using the. full wave rectifier full wave rectifier that is the diagram guys this is called center tapped transformer type full wave rectifier then another one is what bridge rectifier wind bridge oscillator sorry wind bridge not bridge rectifier bridge rectifier type this is also a full wave rectifier right and uh, we are getting the full wave here full wave here means finally we will compare all this full wave rectifier means this is the table guys this is, please go through this table these all are the important parameters number of times i have explained this but for just for quick revision everyone go through that table here important parameters of the rectifier 
in case of half sphere rectifier what is the ripple frequency for example in india what is the supply frequency and in usa what is the supply frequency in india what is the supply frequency 50 hertz so f is the supply frequency here in case of half wave the ripple frequency is f in case of full wave 2f in case of raised rectifier 2f dc value vm by pi 2 vm by pi 2 vm by pi rms value vm by 2 vm by root 2 vm by root 2 means what about the rms value watch this okay then increases then pi by 2 form factor 1.57 it is what pi by 2 root 2 1.11 because ideal value is 1 near to 1 and so on ripple factor ideal value is 0 1.21 0.48 crest factor ideal value is 1 it is near to a 2 root 2 root 2 piv piv is called peak inverse voltage 50 hertz in uh, india and 100 hertz in what usa okay in 100 hertz no in usa is not 100 hertz 50 and 60 hertz 50 hertz in india and 60 hertz in usa piv peak inverse voltage vm 2 vm vm and then what uh, transformer utilization factor 0 0.28 0 0.693 0 0.812 0 0.812 is the transformer utilization factor highest for win bridge oscillator uh, sorry bridge rectifier bridge rectifier it is a 0 0.812 otherwise 0 0.28 0 0.693 and so on this table is very very important you can solve this question f is the supply frequency in india it is a 50 hertz in usa it is in 60 hertz so this is about the bridge now uh, when we are connecting the filters guys filters means what we are using the capacitor filter or what inductor filter that is we are getting more important question from this topic capacitor filter half wave rectifier with capacitor filter half wave rectifier with inductor filter these two are very very important one and most important one is what capacitor filter uh, l section or lc filter or pi section or pi filter just i will give you the very very simple example for example ripple factor in case of capacitor ripple factor is proportional to 1 by f in case of inductor filter again ripple factor is proportional to 1 by f in L section, because we are using the two reactive elements, it will become proportional to 1 by F square. Or in case of CLC filter, we are using the three reactive elements. That's why the ripple factor will become 1 by F cube. Again, in the pi or CRC filter, again, we are using the two reactive elements. Ripple factor will become 1 by F square. That is the important parameters. So we, when we are using the number of reactive components in filters, it will become 1 by F. 1 by f square 1 by f cube so guys what is the f 50 so what is the f square 2500 what is the f cube 2500 into 50 that is very very high when the f cube is very very high what about the ripple factor very very less are these it is in 60 hertz so that is that will you will get the answer in what electrical machine or uh, in machine or in power system you will get the answer okay assist this is class of analog your question is valid question why 60 hertz in usa and why 50 hertz in india okay you will get the answer okay in power system and machine then next one this is the halfway rectifier with the C filter. Always remember one thing. Capacitor is connected parallel to the R. This is the C is connected to parallel to R. Always connected in parallel to R. Then uh, they will ask what is the question? What is the ripple factor for that? So ripple factor for halfway rectifier 1 by 2 root 3 FCRN. FCRN. F is remember it is a supply frequency 50 hertz C RL RL is the load C is the value of the capacitor means ripple factor is proportional to what RLC what is the RLC time constant more will be the time constant less will be the ripple factor 
ripple is unwanted term no unwanted it should be zero then time constant means this time constant should be high rlc means this circuit is preferable for what high load resistance high load resistance capacitor filter is preferable for that was the question one mark question in gate exam it is preferable for high load resistance then what will be the current what should be the current current should be low when resistance is high what should be the load current load current should be low it is preferable for low load current low load current it is preferable capacitor it is connected in parallel connected in parallel and ripple factor is 1 by 2 root 3 fc rl then if you are want to connect the capacitor filter in case of full wave rectifier it is connected here what will be the change again it is connected in parallel but just slight change f should be replaced by 2f so ripple factor will become 1 by 4 root 3 fcrl in case of half wave rectifier it is 2 root 3 fcrl here it will become 4 root 3 fcrl ripple factor rms value of the ac component upon dc value that is called the ripple factor and this is the value r then this is the ripple factor for full wave rectifier whether it is a bridge rectifier or what center tapped transformer type so remember guys what is where is the c is connected parallel to rl parallel to rl what is the where is the c is connected parallel to rl now in case of bridge rectifier again the c is connected what parallel to rl parallel to rl and again the ripple factor formula is this one 1 by 4 root 3 fc rl whether it is a bridge rectifier or center tapped transformer type one most important thing what about the piv so piv question is in case of half wave rectifier with the capacitor filter or without capacitor filter here the signal is vm sin omega t then without capacitor filter piv is vm but with the capacitor filter piv is 2 vm that is the problem piv increases when we are using the capacitor here piv increases when we are using the capacitor so it will become what 2 vm in case of half wave rectifier just double okay that is the disadvantage of the capacitor filter it is the vm it is minus plus vm capacitor will charge up to vm and that will reverse bias it is reverse bias from both the sides from this side that side that's why it will become 2 vm or here it is only vm it is reverse bias by what vm because of this battery only so piv is a important factor it will increase in case of half wave rectifier but in case of center tapped transformer type there is no change in the piv without capacitor with capacitor in both the cases it will be in both the cases it will be 2 vm or in case of bridge rectifier it will remain vm it will remain vm piv will remain same without filter with filter this is a very important parameter or in case of bridge rectifier piv will remain vm with filter without filter with filter without filter it will remain vm msq question hai bhai thoda sa dhyan rakhna is it clear guys <coughs> now so uh this is about the passive rectifiers passive rectifiers means we are not using any active elements like what operational amplifier and so on but when we are using operational amplifier operational amplifier then it will become what precision rectifier or active rectifier precision rectifier or active rectifier guys 
why we are using the precision rectifier with the we are using the precision rectifier for high signal or low signal tell me low amplitude signal or high amplitude signal is baat pe zara like ho jaye aap logo ka precision rectifier or active rectifier active diodes to alag alag hai aur we are getting important question on that i am going to solve some questions on this तो क्वेश्चन प्रैक्टिस जस्ट आई एम सॉल्विंग इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन गाइज तो यू कैन सॉल्व विद मी हाई सिग्नल प्रिसीजन रेक्टिफायर मीन्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वी आर गिविंग अ सिग्नल टेन साइन ऑफ ओमेगा टी वोल्ट to rectify this signal or more than that signal we can use a normal rectifiers we can use the normal rectifier and you can assume the ideal diodes here ideal diodes here but suppose this signal is 10 sin of omega t in millivolt this is in volt that is in millivolt what is the highest value here highest value here is what minus sorry highest value is 10 millivolt only and what is the under practical condition what is the minimum drop required for the diode 0.7 volt but it is only 10 sin a uh, 10 millivolt is the highest value means it it is not able to make the diode forward bias what is the value only 10 millivolt very very small right so it is not sufficient to make the diode forward bias that's why when the signal is very very small we have to assume what practical diode we have to assume practical diode guys right second thing and to make this diode forward bias we have to use any active element here we are going to use operational amplifier that is the reason to rectify the small signal to rectify the small signal we are using precision rectifier that is the first question guys that is the first question or we have to assume the practical diodes we have to assume the practical diode so when we are assuming the practical diodes the transfer curve for half wave rectifier will start from 0.7 like this this is the curve for half wave rectifier v0 versus vi and that is the cutting voltage v gamma and this is for what idea uh, but this will not rectify the small signal again with the help of again with the help of operational amplifier we are getting this type of characteristics the curve will start from almost zero and that's it this is the ideal condition this is the curve for precision rectifier this is the curve for what normal rectifier so that is the case guys that is the case okay so chaliye dekhte hain zara practical always remember in precision rectifier we have to consider the practical diode because the diodes are practical that's why we are designing the rectifiers by using operational amplifier otherwise in under ideal condition not required now this type of questions guys that's why i am giving just i am asking which answer is correct tell me which answer is correct the precision rectifier circuit is designed to rectify waveform with very large voltage swing rectify the waveform with very small voltage swing rectify the precision waveform amplify and rectify the waveform which answer is correct mcq hai na ye are vikram ah uh, if suppose uh, what is your capacity you can uh, lift uh, how many kg 10 kg or 20 kg tell me what is your capacity 10 kg 20 kg or 30 kg
हाउ मच वेट यू कैन लिफ्ट कितना वजन उठा सकते हो बोलो जल्दी बोलो विक्रम बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर निखिल 60 के जी ओके नो प्रॉब्लम 60 के जी तो विक्रम यू आर सेइंग दैट व्हेन वी आर मेकिंग द वेरी हाई सिग्नल देन देर इज अ चांस ऑफ ब्रेक डाउन बट सपोज अवर कैपेसिटी इज सिक्सटी के जी निखिल इफ सपोज आई एम गिविंग यू जस्ट टू हंड्रेड के जी इज इट पॉसिबल टू हंड्रेड और टू थाउजेंड के जी इज इट पॉसिबल नॉट देन वॉट वी विल डू वी यू आर नॉट गोइंग वी आर गोइंग टू यूज वॉट क्रेन जे सी बी और अदर थिंग्स यस और नो टेल मी तो सिमिलरली सिमिलरली when uh, when there is a high voltage we are just changing the property of what diodes so that we can increase the breakdown voltage okay or otherwise we are connecting the two diodes in series so that we can share the voltage in reverse direction simply one student can lift 60 kg then if we want to if what 120 kg then two students required yes is it clear so that's why when the in reverse direction we are getting high voltage for example that is reverse bias by 60 volt so what is the voltage coming across that 60 volt but it is more than its breakdown voltage so what is its breakdown voltage for example its breakdown voltage is 40 volt it will not work what we will do we will connect two diodes in series now it is a 60 volt what is the voltage across the individual diode 30 volt 30 volt and 30 30 is less than what breakdown voltage of individual diodes so that is the concept of what bridge rectifier and that's why piv decreases in bridge rectifier we are connecting four diodes or in case of center tap we are using only two diodes so when these two di uh, these diodes are uh, work in what series and that's why piv decreases now vikram it is clear okay i have answer for all your questions but we have limited times that is answer b analog is very interesting subject in isro in interview they will ask in all other competitive exams in interview they will ask so first of all clear this gate exam then we will conduct classes for what interview and so on so precision rectifier guys the so precision rectifier the first diagram is this one very very important one right what is the very uh, diagram like this this is a precision rectifier i will give you the standard diagram for this this is a diode or like this watch this so this is very important topic for gate exam okay precision rectifier now this is our here we are connecting one diode minus plus this is ground one register here connected now only we are saying that this diode d1 this is responsible for what rectification responsible for rectification means what when the d1 is off always remember i am giving you the hint when the d1 is off always remember v not is zero how because operational amplifier will provide the current and this current will pass through d1 and that is register normally in the diagram they will not show the register but i am here showing you the register so current will pass like this and in that case you will get the output or when this diode is off there is no current what will be the output zero okay that is the first case when this diode is on output will become this register this register upon v when this diode is on that is the loop is clo closed it behaves like inverting operational amplifier and it will become minus rf by r into v in. it will become minus rf by r into v in that is what minus v in exactly replica of 
with 180 degree phase shift okay this is the responsible for rectification but in the diagram we are having another diode here we are connecting the another diode here d2 so what is the purpose of this d2 the purpose of this d2 is to reduce what piv reduce the piv peak inverse voltage reduce the voltage uh, voltage that is coming across the diode when the diode is reverse bias to d2 so d2 will avoid the saturation of the operational amplifier and d2 will provide the negative feedback and this is called what precision rectifier so here we are using the two diodes d1 and d2 reduce the peak inverse voltage yes in reverse bias condition now remember uh, it is a very 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 easy question how we can solve this question if that diagram is given always check this vi then va va means voltage at this point what is the position of diode d1 what is the position of diode d2 v0 very very simple now watch when vi is greater than 0 positive value because vi is connected to what inverting terminal that's why because of 180 degree phase shift vi is negative because of 180 degree phase shift this va is negative because of negative d1 is off and because of that negative d2 is on or already i have said when the d1 is off what is the output zero so during positive half output will be zero now when it is less than zero va because of 180 degree phase shift it is negative it will become positive what about d1 on now we are going to get the output d2 off and what will be the output already i have said minus r by r into v in that is the minus of v in minus of v in so that is the so in positive half we are getting zero in negative half we are getting minus of v in 180 degree phase shift negative will become positive so that is the precision rectifier guys watch this diagram If this is the input, so for positive half we are not getting any output. Okay, for positive half we are not getting any output, and for negative half we are getting the minus v. Minus means minus minus it will become plus. This is zero. This will become plus. This is zero. This will become plus. And that is the output of this rectifier and that's why it is called inverting rectifier inverting half wave rectifier precision rectifier for negative we are getting positive now if this is the case we are getting the positive value this is the vm this is zero this is the vm sin omega t so dc value is vm by pi dc value is vm by pi because it is positive but what about the transfer curve Normally they are asking the transfer curve. Guys, when the input is positive, what is the output? Zero. When the input is positive, output is zero. Or when the input is negative, output is positive. So this is the transfer curve. Slope is minus one. Slope minus one. This is the transfer curve. In this is called first quadrant, this is called second quadrant, this is called third quadrant and that is the fourth quadrant. So it will be in second quadrant. Output, input is negative but output is positive. So this is the, this type of questions they will give. For example, input is minus 3, output is plus 3. So this is the precision rectifier and the curve will start from this. So what is the purpose of the D2? They will ask then the purpose of the D2 is to reduce the PIV when main rectification is because of the D1 when the, it is on output is positive when it is off output is zero output is zero okay so can you solve this type of questions that is the table here okay then so this is the precision rectifier then second case you can change the polarity of the diode guys you can change the polarity of the diode
polarity of the diode means for example just change the polarity of these two diodes now watch this you have to change this va greater than 0 that will become what negative because of negative d1 is off because of that negative d1 is on this is off and you will get minus v in. here you will get the minus v in because of less than 0 this is positive because of this positive this is off what is the d2 d2 is on output is 0 when this diode is off output is 0 so you will get the output in which half in positive half you will get the output in positive half you will get the output now tell me transfer curve will lie in which quadrant tell me guys transfer curve will lie in which quadrant for positive half you will get negative value and for negative half you will get zero value what will be the dc value minus vm by pi negative and if you are talking about the transfer curve for positive half you are getting the negative value or for negative half you are getting the zero value this type of transfer curve that will be in what fourth quadrant that will be in fourth quadrant first suppose if the input is plus 4 output is minus 4 that is in fourth quadrant so this is the yes yes so uh, you have to change the polarity of both the diodes guys you have to change the polarity of both the diodes otherwise circuit will not work this is the circuit we have changed diode so this is a very very important question and that is the circuit we have changed both the diodes polarity change the polarity of both the diodes one diode is on then remember second diode should be off means at a time only one diode should be on if both the diodes are on then circuit will not work okay so one diode on one diode off so you have to check whether the diagram is correct yes or no then accordingly you have to solve this is the precision rectifier this is called precision rectifier guys so uh, i have uh, uploaded this uh, this is the ideal characteristics that is in the second quadrant already i have solved d1 and d2 and then which type of questions that was the question in gate exam in gate exam that is the question precision rectifier watch this this is the d1 and d2 always watch this is the d1 in which quadrant you have to remember already curve is also given which uh, no 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 what is given the transfer characteristics of the op amp shown in the figure a b c d which answer is correct then i have explained this when i have explained this i have said this is in second quadrant when the input is negative output is positive this is in second quadrant but what is this it is the inverting operational amplifier and what is the gain of the inverting operational amplifier what is the gain of the inverting operational amplifier minus 1 minus rf by r1 that is minus 1 so actually we want v not upon v in so v not upon v in so you are saying that this is the in first no that is not the correct answer that is not the correct answer because it is followed by what that so just try to understand first of all try to solve this question guys at this point you are going to get the v not this always remember draw the table first of all what is the va va is this voltage 
just don't be confused with this d1 d2 which one is the d1 this is the d1 this is the d2 this is the v not des and what is the v not v not is minus v not des v not is minus v not des try to understand minus r by r no minus v not des when it is greater than 0 if it is greater than 0 it is less than 0 negative because of negative d1 is off because of this negative d2 is on and when d1 is off 0 it will also 0 then it is less than 0 what is the va positive va positive d1 on d2 off when d1 off it is minus v in this is minus v in now it will become plus v in output is plus v in in which quadrant we are getting when when the input is negative we are getting the output and output is exactly replica of the input so what is the output here for positive half we are getting nothing and for negative half we are getting the replica of this that is the output so guys for positive half what is the output zero and for when the input is negative output is also negative the slope is one that is the curve plus one slope is plus one which answer is correct? Which answer is correct? A, B, C, D. Tell me. C. Asis Kumar have given the C. Yes. Tell this question is clear to you, everyone. This is clear to you. Mansmi Fir again, you are giving the D. How the D? In positive half, we are not getting any output. In a positive half, we are not getting any output. That is the table. I have given the table, proper table. Okay. So, this is a precision rectifier. In this way, you can solve the question, guys. You can solve the previous year questions like this. Now, Go. This is a full wave rectifier, guys. Full wave precision rectifier. What is the full wave precision rectifier? This is a half wave rectifier followed by the summer. So one student asked, Sir, what is the summer? So this is a summer. Actually, it is a summer. And it is what uh, precision rectifier, half wave rectifier followed by the summer. It is called what? Full wave rectifier. Full wave precision rectifier, guys. Now, uh, 5 hours is over, within 30 minutes we will cover some important topics like voltage regulator and BJT. So just last topic from that. Then precision means what? what is the role of this rectifier, just try to understand this. Just I am changing the polarity of this. This is the diode. This is another diode. Watch this. These are the two diodes. Both are practical diodes. Always remember in this question we are getting the practical diodes. Are 180 degree phase shift. One, now in this question you will understand. For example, this is the this is the V1. So what is the V1? V1 is the output of this rectifier. So first of all, focus on the V1, then I will give you the idea about the summer. In inverting summer, what will be the output? Try to understand. Actual output is equal to in inverting summer. <coughs> this is all R what R actually. This is R. This is R. This is R. This is 0.5 R. This is R. Okay, and this is point R. Okay, so that is the diagram. Point 0.5 R. This is the actual standard diagram now. This is V1, this is V2. What is the summer? This is the summer. So for output summer, Rf by this R2. So Rf 
माइनस आर एफ बाई पॉइंट फाइव आर इन टू वी वन दिस इज अमर एंड माइनस आर बाई आर इन टू वी टू इन वॉट इन समर वॉट इज द आउटपुट ऑफ द समर तो इन समर डायरेक्टली यू कैन राइट दिस बाई दिस इन टू वी वन माइनस विद नेगेटिव साइन दिस बाई दिस इन टू वी टू नाउ यू कैन गेट दिस विल बिकम माइनस टू टाइम्स ऑफ वी वन माइनस वी टू और यू कैन टेक माइनस कॉमन टू टाइम्स ऑफ वी वन प्लस वी टू दैट इज द आउटपुट ऑफ द समर ओके नाउ वी टू वी टू इज नथिंग बट वी इन वी टू इज नथिंग बट वी इन तो यू कैन पुट द वी इन एंड नाउ वॉट इज द वी वन टू फाइंड द वी वन तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी इन एज यू नो दिस इज वी ए दिस इज डायोड and what is the output output means here output is this one v1 now watch this when v in is greater than 0 because of 180 degree phase shift it has 180 degree phase shift if it is positive it is negative va is negative because of 180 degree phase shift because of negative d1 is on because of negative d2 is off when the d1 is on already i have said what is the output minus of v in Because of one eighty degree phase shift minus v in. When it is less than zero, positive. This is off. This is on. And what is the output? Zero. When the d one is on, off. It is output is zero. So in a positive half, it is minus v in. So they go in a positive half. What is the output? Output is minus. What is the v one? V in. Minus v. Output is minus v. You can put minus v. And what is the v two? V two is nothing but v two is v. V two is v. You can put the plus v. So minus minus it will plus and v not is exactly replica of the input. So during positive half, output is exactly equal to input. It is a rule of the summer guys. Similarly, during the negative half. During negative half, what is the v1? During negative half, v1 is zero. So what is the output here? Output will become minus zero. This will become zero. And what is the v2? V2 is equal to v in. It will become minus v in. This is minus v in. Now finished. For positive half, it is replica of the input. For negative half, it is negative of the input. It is a full wave rectifier. For positive and negative half, for positive half it is a replica of the input. For negative half minus of that, we are getting what? Full wave rectifier. So what is the full wave rectifier? Half wave rectifier followed by the summer. Is it clear, guys? Half wave rectifier followed by the summer. Is it clear? Okay then. तो देख लो ये दिस इज द क्वेश्चन तो ऑलवेज मेक दिस टेबल दिस टेबल विल हेल्प यू यू विल गेट द आइडिया अबाउट दैट हाउ टू ड्रॉ द ट्रांसफर कर फॉर दिस एंड व्हाट इज द रोल ऑफ द समर व्हाट इज द आउटपुट ऑफ द समर व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस रजिस्टर दिस इज दैट विल बी द क्वेश्चन दे कैन गिव द आर टू एंड आर वन व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ आर टू एंड व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ आर वन दिस इज द पॉइंट फाइव आर दिस इज द आर दिस इज आर दिस इज आर दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट यस तो ये है माइनस वीन ये है प्लस वीन दिस इज करेक्ट एंड दैट्स वाई नेगेटिव विल बिकम पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव विल बिकम आल्सो पॉजिटिव सर लास्ट वी नॉट इज इक्वल टू वीन वेयर इन दिस इक्वेशन नो नो दिस इज करेक्ट Equation number one, it is correct. This is also correct. This is also correct. Minus means minus means negative will also become positive. Is it clear, Gotham, Batman?
ये बैटमैन वाली मूवी का नेम है ना इज इट करेक्ट ग्रीन कलर वी नॉट इज इक्वल टू माइनस वी इन नो दैट इज करेक्ट अरे गौतम इफ यू आर सेइंग दैट इट इज प्लस वी इन देन इट विल बिकम व्हाट नेगेटिव विल रिमेन नेगेटिव ना आई हैव टू मेक द नेगेटिव इज इक्वल टू व्हाट पॉजिटिव नॉट इज क्लियर this is replica but this negative should become positive so in this portion v in is uh, v out is what minus v in acha your real name is gosa okay gautam na theek hai nahi batman in uh, ba uh, in batman movie city ka naam hai na okay ठीक है ओके ओके नो प्रॉब्लम तो ना इन एग्जाम वी कैन अवॉइड ना दिस टाइप ऑफ मिस्टेक दैट्स व्हाट इज अ क्विक रिवीजन गाइस दैट्स व्हाट इज अ क्विक रिवीजन ऑफ ऑल सब्जेक्ट्स ऑल टॉपिक्स अदरवाइज इज इट पॉसिबल टू कवर द कंप्लीट एनालॉग विद इन फाइव आवर्स इज इट पॉसिबल नॉट पॉसिबल तो ये है हा सिटी थी ना अरे कुछ ब्रेक फिर से ब्रेक अभी रुको आ, मैं देखता हूँ फिर बताता हूँ आपको क्यों मैं फाइव मिनट्स लो पास फिल्टर लेवल शिफ्टर मॉड्यूलेटर प्रिसीजन रेक्टिफायर नाउ व्हाट इज आंसर फॉर दिस दैट वाज द क्वेश्चन प्रीवियस ईयर गेट क्वेश्चन प्रीवियस ईयर अ गेट क्वेश्चन टेल मी टेल मी विच आंसर इज करेक्ट दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन ना लंच करना है अब तो यार हाई टी का टाइम हो गया है लंच टाइम ओवर नो वी हैव टू कवर बिकॉज जस्ट ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन एंड गेट द आइडिया अबाउट दिस डायग्राम जस्ट आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू द टेन मिनट ब्रेक आफ्टर दैट वी विल कवर वॉट वोल्टेज रेगुलेटर after that we will cover what voltage regulator and what bjt because precision rectifier is over now just 10 minutes only 15 minutes chaliye hai na chalo solve karo one minute i am giving you one one important question on this this one this one this one try to solve this is it visible 4r 20 volt r vi this is d2 this is d1 v not r r vi which transfer curve is the correct for this question that is a good question on precision rectifier please take a screenshot of that right or abhi usko solve karna hai 15 minute break then we will continue with what uh, precise uh, sorry voltage uh, i will solve this question and then uh, what uh, we will cover what voltage regulator and bjt guys okay class is not over we will cover okay then
now tell me what is the answer for this question everyone and so okay B for Bombay. Yes. Now, please join the session now, everyone. How many students are attending the class? Okay then. Then, uh, transfer characteristics of precision rectifier. Just like that is a question from the previous year question paper. Then remember, guys. Uh, first of all, always remember that D one. When this D one is on, then there will be the output. When the D one is on, it is just like a summer. There are two inputs. When there are two inputs. So D one is on. So you can directly write. First of all, this is on. When there is on, there will be the output, and that output is given by minus R by R into V in minus. This is R by four R into twenty. It is just like a summer into twenty. You will get. Minus of v in plus five. That is the output. That is the output. Second important thing, output is always what positive. Output is positive. Why? Because when we are connecting the resistor here, current will flow through the diode D one like this. It is moving from V not to towards ground, and that's why output is always positive. Means this is always positive value. So when we it should be greater than or equal to zero, so then it will become V in plus five should be less than or equal to zero. So V in should be less than what five volt. So output will exist when V in is less than five volt. Very simple calculation. First of all, find the output when the diode is on, and then output should be equal to zero. So then V in should be less than five volt. For V in less than five volt, there will be the output, and for V in greater than five volt, output will be zero, minus five volt, minus five volt. This is the minus five volt, minus five volt, and that's why when the V not greater than minus five volt, output is zero. When it is less than minus five volt, output is plus five volt. Okay, so. When the input is minus five volt, what will be the output? Minus five plus five that is equal to zero. When the input is minus ten volt, what will be the output? Minus ten plus five that is equal to plus five volt. Now, that is the transfer curve. What is the transfer curve here? When the input is greater than minus five volt, output is zero, or when the input is uh, less than minus five volt, output will follow this, or when it is exactly minus ten, what is the output? Plus five. This is the transfer curve. How many students are getting this? How many students are getting this curve? This is the break point is minus five. That answer is this one. B is correct. B for Bombay. So that is the question on precision rectifier. So we have solved the simple questions and this type of questions on precision rectifier, full wave rectifier. Now, this is about the rectifier, guys. Second important diode circuit is clippers. So types of the clippers are shunt clipper, series clipper. Right, bias clipper, double clipper. Double clipper means we are using the two diodes, two level clipper. That is called double clipper. Okay. 
एंड देन शंट क्लिपर सीरीज क्लिपर बायस क्लिपर डबल क्लिपर बायस डबल क्लिपर दीज आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्लिपर मीन्स वेन वी वॉन्ट टू रिमूव द अनवॉन्टेड पोर्सन तो दैट इज द सर्किट विच इज लिमिट रिमूव और प्रिवेंट सम पोर्सन ऑफ द इनपुट वे फॉर्म अब और बिलो अ सर्टन लेवल तो दैट लेवल इज कॉल्ड रेफरेंस लेवल तो दैट इज कॉल्ड क्लिपर नाउ वॉच दिस वन दिस इज अ शंट क्लिपर वाई बिकॉज डायोड इज कनेक्टेड पैरल टू आर एल so that is called shunt clipper when the diode is connected series with the rl then it is called series clipper now uh, guys uh, clipper means what uh, uh, just to remove what uh, answered uh, just what we want to remove part above or below some reference level guys now for example it is unbiased or bias means suppose i am connecting a vr here that is also a clipper now what is the position of the diode vi diode and what will be the output when vi it is reverse biased by vr we are assuming the ideal diodes when vi is less than vr less than vr diode is off when the diode is off there is no current through r and output is exactly replica of the input output is vi and then when vi is greater than or equal to vr diode is on when the diode is on output is constant tell me which type of clipper positive clipper or negative clipper output is vr output is what vr so that is when the input is less than vr this is clipper this is vr when the input is less than vr output is what vr vi but when the input is greater than it will become constant like this this is the output and this is this portion is cut so we are cutting just a portion above some reference level and that's why it is called positive clipper it is a positive clipper or peak clipper positive clipper or peak clipper right now we can design the uh, positive clipper or peak peak clipper by changing the position of this diode you can same we will get the same response but you have to change the position of the diode you can put the diode here when we are connecting diode here you will get the same response i have changed the polarity and same you will get the same everything same peak clipper positive clipper and so on but this is called diode is connected in series with respect to rl because rl is connected here so sir a series this is called series clipper and that is called what shunt clipper now if we are changing the polarity of this diode or polarity of that diode that will become what bottom clipper that will become bottom clipper so normally we are getting question on what transfer curve question on transfer curve for example what is the transfer curve for this this is important question so always we have to get the break point right so that is the break point up to break point it will follow the input that's why we are getting this line and after that it will become constant this type of transfer curve v not versus v in so this is the important one so normally in clipper we are getting transfer curve what are the break points where the clipping will occur and so on just to get the bottom clipper or negative clipper you have to change the polarity of the diode so i am just giving you the diagram for example this is this is a shunt clipper this is a bottom clipper you can verify it this is a shunt clipper and that is a bottom clipper then
and sometimes we are getting the two diodes here watch this two diodes so this is called two level clipper so there are two reference level one is called vr1 and vr2 there are two levels 5 volt minus 5 volt uh, this is the 5 volt minus 5 volt r and this is called two level clipper guys now in this case when there are actually this is the vr1 so for example this is the vr2 this is vr1 vr2 is minus 5 volt vr1 is the plus 5 volt and here it is a vi you uh, you can draw a table here vi and what is the range of the vi that is important diode d1 diode d2 and what is the v0 when the vi is less than minus 5 volt for example because it is a minus 5 volt is the less value this is the minus 5 volt so what about the d2 on what about the d1 because of that 5 volt and this is negative d1 is off when the d2 is on you will get the minus 5 volt as output you can check minus 5 volt as a output because this diode is on i am assuming the ideal diode what will be the output minus 5 volt now when the input is between minus 5 is less than vi is less than 5 both the diodes are off and output is exactly equal to vi when both the diodes are off or when the input is greater than 5 volt this is on that is off when both the diodes are off so this is the case output is exactly replica of input when this diode is on output will become 5 volt last case this is called what two level clipper two level bottom clipper as well as peak clipper okay so I, this is the first diagram and that is the third diagram second diagram just you have to make the door both the diodes open circuit and you will get the vi so what about the transfer characteristics in a case of transfer characteristics you will get this type of transfer characteristics right this is the 5 volt minus 5 two level clippers if this is called symmetrical clipping so clipper means what uh, uh, stunt clipper series clipper two level clipper normally we are getting question on what two level clipper this diagram this diagram is important one two level clipper are you able to solve the questions on clipper guys all students are comfortable with the clipper so try to solve this one value of vi required to make d2 forward bias where is the d2 okay value of vi required to make the d2 forward bias kya value hona chahiye greater than 3 volt or greater than 6 volt or greater than 0 volt tell me kya hoga answer what will be the answer diode circuits are tricky for me okay sometimes we are in edc again we will discuss more questions on diode guys more questions on diode in edc on 15th of jan i have session so priyanka is saying that greater than 3 volt and uh, khanna anumanta ganda you are saying that 6 volt greater than 6 volt which answer is correct chalo solve karte So guys, uh, just after that in evening you have the quiz for that. So you can attend the quiz. For quiz you have to install what Baiju's exam prep app. Right. First of all install the Baiju's exam prep app. So that you will be able to attend the quizzes there. Okay. And then that answer is what try to understand. First of all always remember when we want to make the diode forward bias that it is off. When it is off 
it will act like this let this diode is on this diode is off okay watch this question this diode is off 5 kilo ohm now this diode we have to make this diode forward bias already it is forward bias this is 5 kilo ohm this is 5 kilo ohm can you find what is the positive terminal voltage for this diode and this is the negative terminal voltage negative terminal voltage is 3 volt what is the positive terminal voltage according to voltage division rule output is the vp and what is the vp vi by 2 when v i by 2 vp is v not vi it is the vi by 2 now vi by 2 means what uh, when this v naught is greater than 3 volt diode will forward bias so when v naught is greater than 3 volt diode is forward bias to so vi by 2 is greater than 3 volt means what is the vi greater than or equal to 6 volt when VI is greater than or equal to 6 volt, diode is forward bias. So, this is the answer. So, in a clipper, it is very, very important to find the range. In a clipper, that is very important to find the range of the input. Always point VP and v, uh, VP and what? VL. Okay. Are uh, Dhanasri Sarma. You have watched that 12th fail movie, yes or no? Don't worry about that. Subha ka bhula saam ko ghar aajai then usse bhula nahi bolte. Because of any reason if you have dropped and so on. So there is no problem in the placement but you have to justify it. Are you getting my point everyone? So it is a har kisi ko bounce back karna hai. Bounce back means what? Don't think about the results and so on. If we are giving extraordinary in uh, what uh, b, uh, during M tech or during what that, then definitely uh, no, don't worry about the what placements and so on. Okay, then. So, so, ab hai, password hai, ab liklo password hai, pre running. Lamba ho gaya kya? Chalega. This is free running password. What is the free running? F R double E R U double N I N G. Because it is free of cost, it is available. So free running. Just like a free running multi vibrator. So it is a password. Okay. Everyone, the, this is the pass, this will be the password for PDF. After the class, I will upload the PDF on my telegram channel. If suppose some topics is remaining, then we will cover in what I will inform you about that during EDC, we can cover. Because after that you have to attend the quizzes also. Now this is the question on clipper. Second important diagram is what clamper guys. So there are two types of clamper. Negative clamper and one is what positive clamper. Negative clamper means we are introducing negative value. We are in wow, man, six hours, six volt is the answer. Good one. Right. Negative or remember that is the free running. Okay. So free running and uh, now negative clamper is what uh, <coughs> means we are introducing the negative DC value. Positive clamper means we are introducing the positive DC value. It is called DC inserter. It is also called DC restorer. It is also called DC translator. These are the name of the clamper circuit. Restorer. Okay, so now watch this. Directly you can say negative clamper means, for example, if it is going downward. For example, this is the downward. You can recall this. Current will flow from this point to this one downward. It is a negative clamper. Now it is without any biasing. There is no battery is connected, but we can also connect the battery here we can also connect the battery then this question is very very easy how we can solve this question uh, remember in this case if any battery is connected any battery is connected then first of all make the diode what is the method first of all make the diode forward bias for example 
if any input signal is given in particular question 10 0 minus 10 if this is given diode will be forward bias for highest positive value you can put the highest positive value here 10 volt initially there is no charge across the capacitor this diode is on for example this is the vr that is the 2 volt now once the diode is on it will act as short circuit what will be the voltage across the capacitor you have to find now you can find the voltage across the capacitor this is the 10 volt maximum positive value this is the 2 volt 10 plus 10 minus 2 that is the 8 volt now capacitor will charge by what 8 volt that is the maximum possible voltage across the capacitor second important thing once the capacitor will charge diode is permanently off when the diode is permanently off now this capacitor will behave like a battery of 8 volt and this 8 volt will oppose the input and output will become vi minus vc that is the general formula vi minus vc and it will become vi minus 8 volt vi minus 8 volt now what is the output you have to subtract 8 volt from all the parts when i am subtracting 8 volt so tell me guys if i am going to subtract 8 volt 10 minus 8 it will become 2 minus 10 minus 8 it will become minus 18 2 minus 18 and that will be the output of the clamper now that uh, what is the dc level of this the dc level of this is zero and what was the swing swing was 20 volt swing means maximum minus minimum that is the 20 volt what is the swing here 20 volt what is the shape sinus uh, square wave everything will remain same but there is a change in what dc level tell me what is the dc level of this signal everyone give me the comments give me comments here what is the DC level of this wave? Initially it was 0. Now what is the DC level of this? So when you want to find the DC level, V maximum plus V minimum divided by 2. V maximum plus minimum divided by 2 means minus 8 volt is the DC level minus 8 volt is the just one yes your answer is correct minus 8 volt is the dc level for this so only there is a change in the dc level or it will introduce the negative dc level and that's why it is called negative clamper that's why it is the negative clamper okay minus 8 volt is the answer similarly if this is a there is a positive clamper for example same method you can use for positive clamper guys same method you can use for positive clamper just i am giving you the idea about the positive clamper uh yes yes positive clamper means change the polarity of the diode only positive clamper means change the polarity of the diode this is the two volt okay now according to this value you can directly give the name positive clamper means this is the value above current will move above means positive clamper okay remember cr cv maximum plus v minimum by 2 yes now this is the positive always remember if the same signal it is given we are having the two important question on that then this is the 10, this is 0, this is minus 10. This time the diode will be on for negative value. So you can put the highest negative value here. And diode is on. Okay, sorry, that is not register. This is capacitor. That is not register. This is capacitor. Now, find the value of the VC. So what is the voltage across the capacitor? you are putting the minus negative value or this is the 2 volt vr so vc will become minus 10 minus 2 that is what minus 12 volt minus 12 volt 
once you have the minus 12 volt what will be the output once it is capacitor is charged diode is permanently off and this vc will oppose the vi so what is the output vi minus vc and vc is minus 12 volt that's why it will become plus 12 volt minus minus plus now you can add you can add the 12 volt so what is the highest level 10 plus 12 22 this is 2 that is 22 and so on so this is a positive clamper tell me what is the average value 22 plus 2 upon 2 that is the 12 volt 24 divided by 2 that is the 12 volt is the average level okay 12 volt is the average level so what is the common here guys common here remember what is the common here 2 volt is the common here but uh, how we can quickly within seconds we can give the answer first of all always check the reference level if the reference level is 2 volt output is clamped at 2 volt if it is negative clamper below 2 volt swing will remain same what is the swing here 20 so 2 minus 20 you will get the minus 18 the lowest level is minus 18 highest level is 2 volt that is what negative clamper second thing what is the positive clamper that for example it is a 2 volt now watch the diode current will move above and that's what is a positive clamper 2 volt will become lowest level now you have to add the swing what is the swing 20 to 2 plus 20 highest level is 22 lowest level is 2 directly you can give the answer directly you can give the answer here okay so that is the case so you can directly give me the answer what is the highest level and what is the lowest level everyone quickly give me the answer what is the highest level and what is the lowest level this is a 3 volt battery this is the capacitor and this is the vi and vi is a triangular wave this is the triangular wave tell me what is this positive clamper or negative clamper and what is the highest level and what is the lowest level quickly give me the answer is it a positive clamper or negative clamper mm -hmm. just want watch the polarity polarity of the battery changed I have changed the polarity of the battery it is it is not like that there is a change in the polarity it is minus 3 positive clamper or negative clamper everyone there you go it is an arrow upward current will move upward it is a positive clamper and what is the positive it is the lowest level is minus 3 volt and what is the highest level you have to add the swing the so lowest level is minus 3 volt right and uh, high, what is the highest level minus 3 plus 40 37 and then you can draw the triangular wave safe will remain same shape will remain same so just one minus 3 and 37 yes minus 3 to what 37 so this is the correct answer is it clear guys so ye hai, this is the this one uh, i think now clear done to so directly within how many time how many 10 second 10 seconds is more than sufficient 10 seconds we can give the answer for what clamper okay then next one so this is about the clamper this is about the clamper guys give me one minute mm. अब आते हैं नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन में
वोल्टेज डबलर तो देखो अनदर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दैट इज वॉट वोल्टेज डबलर तो क्लैम्पर आई थिंक इट इज क्लियर नॉट इज अ वोल्टेज डबलर गाइज वोल्टेज डबलर मीन्स वॉट अ वोल्टेज डबलर इज दिस इज अ क्लैम्पर वॉट इज दिस पॉजिटिव क्लैम्पर और नेगेटिव क्लैम्पर एरो दिस इज अ पॉजिटिव क्लैम्पर and it should be followed by the positive peak detector this is a peak detector positive peak detector so suppose here we are giving the sinusoidal signal to so because of the clamping action if you are giving the sinusoidal signal vm 0 minus vm because of the clamping action it will increase and what is the lowest level zero because there is no vr no vr means lowest level is zero highest level will become 2 vm we have to add the swing and that is the vm dc level will become vm now this is a peak detector because this capacitor will charge up to highest voltage at this point and what is the highest voltage at this point 2 vm so once the capacitor will charge it will hold that value and output will become 2 vm so this type of circuit is called what doubler voltage doubler this is again a very very important but remember here at this point always remember at this point output is vi minus vc general formula and what is the vc here minus vm and that's why it will become vi plus vm vm is the peak value of the input signal because vc is minus vm vc is minus vm you can find the value fine because in negative half the diode will be on so that's why it is a doubler circuit guys so in this way you we can solve the questions on what doubler okay then so already i have given you the idea about the rectifiers and so on now guys i think for today it is more than sufficient data already i have shared now we have to cover the two topics one is what uh, bjt and another one is what voltage regulator so can we cover this in next class okay with dc is it okay which question uh, last year kaun sa question aaya tha amplifier which one विच वन चलिए मैं ना आपको इसका एक क्वेश्चन मैं सॉल्व करा दू वोल्टेज रेगुलेटर वन तो आई विल आई विल कवर इन दैट इन वॉट ईडीसी ओके नो प्रॉब्लम आई विल कवर रिमेंबर वी हैव द टॉपिक रिमेनिंग दैट इज ऑनली वॉट वोल्टेज रेगुलेटर एंड वॉट बीजेटी ऑलरेडी आई हैव कवर्ड ऑसिलेटर एंड सो ऑन तो बीजेटी इज अ वेरी लेंदी टॉपिक for example we have to cover what feedback amplifiers multi stage amplifiers about the basic idea about the bjt hai right na acha hib hfe uh, that that one question was wrong question one question on h parameter model but that was the wrong question akanksha last time we have one question on uh, bjt uh, h parameter model we have one question but uh, that was what wrong question model model that given was wrong i think uh, uh, you are talking about that one no hmm so that is the wrong one but otherwise we will they could, uh, that is not in syllabus but again they are giving the question so in next class i will cover i will ask them because uh, in in hurry we can't cover all these topics one minute one i will upload the pdf and the password for that is what free running please note that password to remember just just for quiz already i have given first of all install the byju's exam prep app 
and just after give the quiz on what uh, analog you will get this type of leaderboard number of participants number of students what is your score card so you can download from google play store okay and then second thing ah uh, i will give you the basic idea about the power amplifier also and this is uh, this is about the courses guys gate 2024 crash course a crash course for gate live classes recorded lecture study material practice quizzes and mock test and guys courses for esc and gate aspirants for 2025 and 2026 already started if you are juniors or if you want to start your preparation for gate 2025 then it is the right time to start then sabse pehle aap tuned ho pa rahe hain frequency match ho rahi hai then you can get more detail about these courses at this number so this number is given so you can call at this number for more detail about these courses guys install the byju's exam prep so we are going to provide live classes recorded lecture study material practice quizzes and mock tests these five things are required to crack any competitive exams guys hope you have enjoyed this session up to this point because analog is very lengthy guys analog is what very very lengthy subject we have to cover the number of topics so i will ask them to uh, cover that during edc okay and that is my telegram channel electronics by sanjay rathi so please join that because i am going to upload this pdf already i have shared the link with you okay and now finally guys everyone please like the session share the link of this session and most importantly subscribe our channel stay tuned with us because we are having number of sessions marathon sessions revision in one shot guys almost 70% syllabus is covered now remaining i am going to cover in next classes okay then thank you and have a nice day guys okay then thank you yes all in small letter free running all in small letter